And uh, sup fuckos to you too, AO Hell. How's everyone doing today? How's the vibe? How are we all feeling? Hi y'all, I'm the world's cutest gamer. I'm back again, playing The Sinking City. Yes, I am playing The Sinking City. It says so right around there. You're tired? Hi Dom. Hopefully you had a good time at your con. Get some rest, you know, relax, vibe out, chill. You've been half awake all day? I, I feel that. I, today has been a weird day. I did not get a lot done today that I had wanted to. I kind of just zoned out. Got home like an hour ago, hell yeah. Hope you had a great time. The, the, the moments when you get back from doing something all weekend and you just get to like relax in your bed for a bit before the next day starts are always so nice, so sweet, so pleasant. Um, I had family over for the last two days. My sister flew into town because there was supposed to be a baby shower this weekend, but then COVID happened, and so we're like, we're not gonna do a baby shower now, which made sense. I was I was on board with that. Ah, oh. I mean, I'm always happy to fight someone because of traffic. I also hate traffic. I'd help you fight traffic. It'd be like when Goku and Vegeta work together to fight for, to fight traffic, or when Piccolo and Goku work together to get their driver's license. What a fantastic episode. Um, yeah, I had family over for the last few days. Uh, we went to Olive Garden because my brother insisted that we go to Olive Garden. He wanted to go to Olive Garden last year for his birthday and we told him no. And so now he's like, well, I want to go to Olive Garden today. And I guess our spirits broke and we said yes. No, I will not let the man live. He said, no. Not at all. God, absolutely not. Fucking the Olive Garden was middle of the road for sure. We ordered a bottle of their wine. <laughs> it was a red blend. We had the salad. Um, when the person was like, hey, do you want to put cheese on your salad? Uh, the person, like, my mom was like, oh yeah, sure, put some cheese on the salad. And so then she was in charge of saying when, when there was to be no more cheese on the salad. And she was not aware of this. And so I sat there, quietly, watching. Fuck your life, bing bong. If you see these dogs in your front yard, huh, just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong. Thank you for the 19 bits. As this woman continued to scrape and scrape and scrape more cheese using a little cheese gun they have a little cheese scraper gun it just cheese comes out of it all over the salad and main it's an olive garden salad it's mainly lettuce and ranch there's nothing else going on in there there's so much ranch dressing on that salad it was a bad salad um we got the fried cheese we got the fried calamari as appetizers for the table. <laughs> Lettuce in Italian? It might have been. I assumed it was a ranch because it was a little creamy. It was a very soupy salad. And then I got myself a five cheese ziti. It was one of those, it wasn't like a, it didn't have a hand crank truffles. It had a, um, it just had like a trigger. What would Tifa order at Olive Garden? I think Tifa would order A, the calamari as an appetizer. Uh, and she would be a little upset if the person she was with there at the Olive Garden tried to take some of it, because she'd be like, it's my appetizer. Wow. You should have ordered your own appetizer. Thank you for the wow. Uh, and then she would get the Tor of Italy. The Tor of Italy comes with a, a meat, lasagna, a normal Alfredo, and a third thing. I stopped reading after it said meat lasagna, because like, I don't want a meat lasagna. Um, and then the the... The, the brownie lasagna as a dessert. And she would get a whole bottle of red blend wine for herself. I assume Tifa is probably one of the, the biggest cosplay things because it's just shorts and suspenders and then I like a crop top. Not even. But I guess you can do the Advent Children Tifa. There's a lot of differentiations in Tifa. How many cowboy hat Tifas did you see? I like cowboy hat Tifa. The first Italian cowboy Tifa that's her thing 
Genshin was what you saw most of the way? That makes sense. I've, I found out recently, Genshin much larger than I thought it was. I, thought, I knew Genshin was big. I didn't realize Genshin was like League of Legends big. Like, Genshin is fucking huge. Hi, Gramps. How you doing? Truly, we all live in a Genshin impact. Um. God, I can't believe. It's it's wild to me. I always see all the news about Genshin, and I'm like, I don't understand. I tried to play Genshin once, and it was it was a little too much, mainly because there were so many like things that were just kept popping off, and I was like, I don't know if I got any of the good people. Watch one episode of 90 Day UK and let Lady met her future husband on Dota 2. Oh my God, how is that possible? I've never enjoyed anyone I've met on Dota 2. It's always been an unpleasant experience. I wish them the best of luck. Hopefully they can um, do a lane bot together. Uh, I do have to watch that. Uh, I will wait. I, I, met, I saw that AO Hell will be streaming day, 90 Day UK in her Discord. Got free shadow stickers. Hell yeah. Oh, how'd the cosplay hold up? I know walking around in cosplay for the first time it can like break apart sometimes. They've already seen the worst of each other. Exactly. They've been so through so much tangled. No one they can't be held down by anything now. Like they've they've overcome the worst of the possibilities of the relationship. You can't break a marriage if you've already yelled at someone where the wards are. Where are the wards? I'm getting ganked here. Where are the wards? I played a lot of support. Um, just wearing active wear? That kind of makes sense. Oh, Domino was in full shadow cosplay. The whole thing. I assume full shadow cosplay would be a full on fursuit, though. And then, like, six shoes. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog would wear uh, a polo shirt. And then Shadow the Hedgehog would wear Under Armour. That's my theory. Um, Knuckles is wearing uh, Banana Republic. Amy's wearing J. Crew. Uh, Tails is wearing Jimboree, which I, I believe is children's active wear. I don't recall exactly what Jimboree is. Um, and that's that's it. That's all I can say for the, the clothing choices of Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Uniqlo's wearing Uniqlo. I think Roge would wear Uniqlo. Shadow, I can't even pronounce that. Jinka cosplay? So basically the Shadow of the Human. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shadow wears Nike's 100%. Air Shadows. Roge would wear Fashion Nova. Okay, you got me. Uh, you've, you've got me destroyed. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend so much time thinking about what these people would wear. Here's the fucked up thing. I don't remember his name. I was about to call him Gex, the alligator. He would wear alligator skin shoes. Lululemon. I I get I see that. Uh, a Lululemon Vector. Vector would not wear alligator skin. Lululemon yoga pants. She would wear Uggs, and she would wear. Some sort of like bustier, bustier. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I think she actually already wears a bustier. I also still don't know how it's pronounced. But hi, gamers. I'm here to play the Sinking City. It is a Lovecraft detective game. Uh, I have a gun. There are little shadow men running around, and I have to shoot them with my gun. It's been a time. It's it's more mysteryish than I was thinking it would be. Let me turn down this. Final Fantasy XIV music, even though it's one of my favorite tracks from one of my... I like I like the place that this thing plays. I don't think anyone else here knows where this plays, because it's like the hub area from Endwalker. It's very lovely. I like it quite a bit. If I'm logging out on the game, I will teleport there, and I will sit down on a bench, and I will look out. Plays in the Free Company? That makes sense. It's a very good song. Um... Final Fantasy XIV, very large. This game is louder than I thought it would be. Oh, jeez. Uh, tone that down a bit. Thought that was a dead game? Damn. I could see that, 100%. All those Yastolas, you got your Thancrids, your Yuri Anjays, your Alphanodes, your Alisays. 
I found out Alice is like a very big cosplay person. Like, like people cosplay Alice quite a bit, which makes like just die at blue, become Alpha Node. That's the whole thing. You can like wear Alice one day, go back to your hotel room, dip your Alice cosplay in blue paint, pull it out, and become Alpha Node. True. Uh, they have revived this dead game. The whole community is back from AO Hell and Right Q playing together. Um, in which they streamed seven hours yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm gonna miss their stream because I'm out doing stuff yesterday. I went to go to my cousin's house because she started a balloon business um, in which she rents out air bounce ha castle things to people. And we had to do like some initial setup stuff for that. So we were like doing photography. My cousin is not Kara. Kara. Does Kara do air bounces too? I wasn't aware of this. Maybe that's where she got the idea, because I have no idea where my cousin got this idea from. So we were there, we built a balloon arch thing. Like, a, like It's not like a balloon thing, and you strap it to the bounce house. Um, I learned how to do doubles, quads, septuple, sextuples. I could not do the, the, the clusters. The clusters when you have eight balloons together. And you, and you tie a bunch of clusters together to make the larger thing. Like, to make the big, like, long arch thing. I could not do the clusters. I was afraid I was going to pop them. Uh, and so after I made a bunch of, like, quads and stuff, because you want to you combine two quads together. You don't want to make sex tuples. Um, I was put on balloon filling duty, in which there was a little machine that you put the balloon in. You know, so at some point they were like, we have lost faith in you. Go do that. Um, that was my day. And then I had some Thai food. Some delicious Thai green curry. And then Truffles sent me a picture of some fantastic fucking fried tofu that's in the area. I did not get that nice fried tofu. They didn't have fried tofu at the place I ordered from. They were like, hey, we're out of it. We've sold out of fried tofu, and I was like, how fucking dare you? How are you sold out of fried tofu? That's, I feel like that's so easy to have on hand with you. It, it is so good. It, like, melts in your mouth. It's so good. I think I've ordered from there once, but they, like, take an hour to get to where I live. A thing called Corito? What is Corito? I'm, I'm hoping I don't get these nuts. Uh, so one thing about the Sinking City is that it, this very kind of buggy, and that I don't know exactly where I'm going to spawn in the game, when the game spawns me. I also know I have to head to, I want to say, um, Pier 3, Oakmont, Port, Grimhaven Bay. So, I'm going to go there. The game also does not tell you where you are, or like how to get places. Is a Korean food burrito. Okay. I was like, it looks like burrito. And it is a Korean food. I assume you put a lot of kimchi on there. Yeah, we don't we can't fast travel here just yet. Which is a shame. So we are gonna have to drive a boat down. We can't drive a boat down this way because there's a fence in the way. So much kimcho, so much kimchi even. Um I found out recently kimchi, uh, like the way they make kimchi, they use a lot of sagandi as like a natural sugar in the fermentation process for kimchi, uh, which I prefer to um, the tuna paste. Thank you, Dom. I appreciate it. Like, I get that everything's, like, rained out, but, like, you could close this. We don't need this here. So, for the first three levels I made in this game, I just put my points into XP gain. Also, there's people like this wandering around, and if you, like, touch them, they start punching you in the mouth, and I don't like it. I don't appreciate getting punched in the mouth by these obvious cultists. Please be a little less obvious if you're gonna punch me in the mouth. Hey, Hexer, how you doing? Do you guys just walk out of the water? Hello? This game's buggy. This game's a little busted. Uh, there's no boat here, so I can't go down this way. Which is interesting. 
I assume there are going to be boats at each of these things so they just spawn there. But I guess I'm not exactly certain how this game, like, functions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, sh that guy died before he even got shot. He knew it was coming. Just working? Only two hours left? Hell yeah. Hopefully these last two hours go by smooth. Um... So I, I have to work in the office on Mondays, which isn't normally, I wouldn't necessarily have a huge problem with it, uh, and I, I don't, it's it's like whatever, uh, but the thing is I can't do the same work I do in the office that I can do at home, they are two different completely sets of work, like I'm doing completely different things that I just, it's like the way things are set up it's a fucking nightmare, and so I don't enjoy the transition from being like, well, I was working on this thing last time, and now I have to fucking just leave and go do something else. It's it's a weird hassle having to transition between those two things. Hopefully, as like things get cleaned up and cleared out, it'll be easier to like do stuff between the two spots because I don't have access to the things I need necessarily, and that's why I'm not able to do everything I want to. I, like, need to be the two zones. The home zone and the office zone. It's fine. But also, uh, the lady who works at the cafe attached to our job has come to terms with the fact that I'm going to order a, a black coffee and leave most of the time. Uh, she'll look at me and be like, just nod her head, and I'll give her my money, and she'll be like, okay, I'll go get my coffee. It is one of the few times where I, I'm okay with becoming a regular somewhere. Because it's not like, hey, you get the usual, like, no, it's just silent head nod. If I'm getting something else, I'm adding something to it, I will make, I will say it. I will make note. It is a beautiful relationship. Also, <laughs> I, I haven't gotten to talk about this yet. Um, I went to go see my little nephew on yesterday because uh, we didn't do the baby shower and all the old people were like but well, we will still want to see everyone uh, and so a, a select group of people went to someone else's home and while I was there my little nephew was there uh, and he was bouncing around because he's like seven or eight I don't remember how old he is he's in school now I know that uh, but like part way through his mom like looks at us like oh do you want to hear his song and we're all like a fucking course we want to hear his song do a performance for us please sing us a song small child we demand it um and so he like looks around and he's he's excited he's a little giddy and he's like hey it's not a song i'm going to do a rap and i'm over the moon right now. I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen here. Can I not go this way? What are we doing? Okay, I'm gonna just go the long way. Um, and he looks over. He grabs his little kitty iPad. I think he has a full-on iPad. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it might be a different model. Uh, and he goes to YouTube uh, and he starts to play the, the background music to astronaut in the ocean and this kid starts just singing the lyrics to astronaut in the ocean at the at a wrong rhythm he's not following the necessarily the right pace which i'm not going to fault him for he's a child i don't know if he knows what melody is yet um i don't know what melody is yet i'm bad at music um speaking of new episode of jason razcast tomorrow uh, get your podcast feeds ready it's gonna be a good one and he just starts fucking singing the lyrics to Astronaut in the Ocean. Uh, let me take a photo of this vomiting guy again. Get pranked. Uh, and I'm sitting there. I'm looking over at the whole family. And they're all just like absorbing it. Uh, my brother and my sister are like, This is the TikTok song? And I'm like, this, I'm like not in my head. This is the TikTok song. He's going. He goes for about half the song. He fucking... He's seven or eight. He drops the hard shit word in the song, uh, and I'm just, I'm reeling. I'm I'm at an angle from everyone else, so no one else can see me. I'm like, did he just say shin? What's going on? 
There he goes. He says it again. Who are you? Hey, hey, help. Help. What's going on? Sea creatures. Swarmed over the piers. I hid here. But these walls won't stand up to them. Please help me. And anyhow. Little nephew is just saying shit, singing astronaut in the ocean. He gets a lot of the lyrics right. He goes for like a minute and 30 seconds, and then he says he messed up and asked if he can restart. And we're all like, yes, please restart. And his mom's like, can you not say the one with shit in it? Can you not say the one with the swear word? Uh, and he's like, but it's the one I know. And we're all like... <laughs> I, it's just a wild moment. And then he's like, yes, okay. And then he sings the one with the shit in it again, and we just never talk about it. We just don't address it. <laughs> and we drive home later. Like, he said, he's just dropping the S word there. He's just saying the whole ass shit. Why? <laughs> no one was expecting it. It's a fun story. I'm looking for Sanders. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. What do you need help with? <laughs> Press T. The crouched hostiles are less likely to attack you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. The mayor's cursed these days. The mayor's cursed these days. What do you need help with? I don't want to hit you. How do I talk to you? It's been a week since I played this game, and do I... I didn't think there was that many controls that I could mess up. Okay, I just gotta get rid of the, the sea creatures out here. Which means... Pull out my pistol. There were no birds there. Those birds spawned in to fly away. How do I grab this? Left click. That's what it was. Uh, normally the monsters here don't give you a lot of XP, but they do give you some XP. That was it. <laughs> that was the whole harbor in clear, just two, two fellas. I guess I don't mind. A win's a win. I'll put any W in my book. But I think you could handle that. Like I get they're scary, but like, just punch one. Sorry. I've dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What kind of a man is Sanders? Is Sanders. And what kind of man is he? A uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. He treated his crew well. That's always nice. What's the, what about the Tanya? Titania. It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding. He's a little quieter than the protagonist. The water, and then, well, then the wild beasts came to feast. I think I've somehow become more acquainted with audio mixing issues in video games of the past year and a half. Um, which I shouldn't, because my audio is always garbage. Um, but still. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I bet my life no one else made it back. Okay. Oh, thank you, Grims. I appreciate that. I guess... Whenever, like, I... So... A fun thing I've always had is, like, I hate listening to my own voice again. Um, and so, A, doing a podcast where I have to, um... They emptied every chamber. Re-listen to every episode, every week. Powder. Uh, well, not every episode. Every, listen to every episode for the edits to see what gets done. And I've gotten a little bit more used to it. I want to give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I give you a one. Thanks for the one bit. There certainly are some audio mixing things, especially when I get other people involved in the stream. Like, uh, and I'm doing stuff with Tiny Blue, things like that. It's 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 true. I'm getting you. I'm better at it because I like sometimes just disassociate when I'm like listening to the the feedback episode, which means it takes me a while to listen to the episode, and then it's like Ruby sends it to me a week, and then, like after a week, I'm like, oh yeah, it sounded good. I I've, I've managed to listen to all of it now. 
And I always feel bad. Oh. Uh, the monster sure didn't leave behind much. But. It gets with like other people involved on the stream, we in just spirits. making sure plenty of them everything there. sounds appropriate, like them, the game, all that. I've gotten better at it. There's certainly some stuff that I know I can do that I haven't done yet, which is like making separate audio feeds, because like everything is just going to either the mic or desktop audio right now. That's so basically this, and everything else is on desktop audio. Um, I know AO Hell and Alithid have both taught me how to do this. And I have still not done it. Can't as I am one to do. More marks here, but they've been erased. It's wild to me that this game is set in um this the northeast and there's not a Dunkin' Donuts in this town. I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take on board my vessel. The Tanya. Any person designated by Robert Thurk Morton. The cargo detailed in the attached manifest. Robert Throgmorton is the one who told us to go and do those stuff. Uh, as well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance, up to including depth measurements, as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Aforementioned services will take place in confidential locations on the Cod Bay. Afterwards, Titania will provide transport for all passengers at Nakamon Port. Composition will be 70 bullets. Bullets are the currency because of a big flood. I feel like there's something this here. Will be a weird artifact in any collection. I think there might be something else on here, but I can't tell. Just a scary little dildo man. This would be a weird artifact. Anything else here? No marks here, but they've been erased. Oh, I can go. I can go. Um, how do I go supervision mode? I have a, I have a superpower. How do I go superpower mode? Uh. Case mind's eye, Q mode. There we go. Anything else on here? No? This should reveal stuff for me, but I don't know exactly when I'm supposed to be using it. Also, um, where? Oh, burn document, Sanders has fled. Can I combine these? No. Lore. Casebook. Where did he tell me that the fellow was? Letters from Oakmont. Okay. No, this is not it. What's this? I already checked that. Is something else over here? I feel like there should be, right? Because we have not gotten a full completed investigation in the zone, I think. Pier 3. This place with the full investigation has this green thing around it. They were in high spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. That's how you get high in spirits, my man, with the drinking. What are you talking about? Anything else over here? I feel like if there's something I missed, it's gonna be this way. Uh, the monster sure didn't leave behind much. Hmm. Uh, of note is that. Shot dead. Point blank. Okay. Once you have all the evidence in the area, it turns green, you get a bunch, like a big XP bonus, which is kind of what I'm aiming for because I put all my traits into XP. So it'd be just a bad idea to not do that. Let's go in the zone. To the mayor with you. Ugh. Die, die. La is not like the most intimidating battle cry, I'll say. Maybe I shouldn't like knock him. No more drink. All we've seen, and you telling me we ain't allowed rum. What? <laughs> what was that voice? Okay. Uh, so we have to put things in order of when they happened. So, 
Well, actually, we have to go check the last first one. And then we can put things in order. Uh, you can't take me! Eat this! Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. But you have to do it in order, so you can't, like, set that one to number three. I have to go back here and set this one to number one. And then, no I can set this one good. to two. All we've seen, are you telling me? To the mayor with you! You can't take me! Eat this! For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. Interesting. Key evidence collected. And all evidence collected because it's green now. Look at your boy. 184 XP. That's like... Most of a level. Love that for me. We just talk to this fellow before we head back out. See if he knows where that guy went. The mayor's curse these days. Okay. The mayor's curse these days. Oh, we should go to the Mine Palace, like the game is telling us to. Wounded Sailor, Sanders has fled. Our master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the flight on third pier of Cairn Haven Bay was a man badly wounded the soldier. Captain Sanders is the wounded man is now seeking medical aid. Okay. We can't do anything with those two just yet. Uh, so if he got wounded, he would go to the hospital, I assume. I wonder if the game wants us to make that deduction, or if we have to, like, trigger some sort of event. Hey. I took a photo of one man, and he gave me some XP one time, so I've been taking a lot of photos of random mans. It's not weird. It's farming. It's grinding. Walking around. Having the time. Living the dream. Let's see if we can't just get over to the hospital and see if he's there. Thank you for the two bits, AO Hell. I appreciate it. I had some chili today and I burned my tongue. And I was like, damn, can't believe it. Did I, did I have the chili while it was literally boiling hot? No, I waited four or five minutes. Was that enough time? Absolutely not. It was a real mistake. But I don't think I've ever had chili without burning my mouth a little bit. And maybe that proves... Maybe that says something about me. Maybe I'm impatient. It's the same thing with, like, frozen pizza. Where I will eat it too quickly. Tell me about these noodles you just had. I would love to hear about them. Everyone tell me about your meals. Now. I demand it. I. My chili. Red beans, some celery, some carrots, a little bit of potato in there. It's pretty good. Any patients with an accident? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Axe wounds? Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Thick chewy noodles in a spicy sesame sauce and chili oil. Ground mushroom, bok choy, scallion, fresh garlic, sesame seeds, and fried garlic. That sounds fucking amazing. It was a brothless ramen. I've never had that before. I'm gonna need to try something like that. I've long been considering involving more kind of mushroom based stuff in my food um, I watched uh, the video of the guy who used to be on BuzzFeed Andrew, I don't remember his name, he was on Worth It he has a new like kind of food channel uh, and he got like a bunch of different mushrooms and like cooked them in a bunch of different ways um, also, if you're a big fan of mushrooms might I recommend tomorrow's episode of Enter the Mrazfinite, which is going to be very heavily mushroom-based, shockingly enough. Um, but, uh, I've, I've, mushrooms. I'm more on board with mushrooms than I was before. Yikes, your aunt... 
human. <laughs> Yikes. What's wrong? What happened? Subjects. Patients. Uh, period. Department. Uh, surgery? I uh, maybe therapy? Grimhaven Bay. Let's go for therapy. Anyone here? No. Surgery. No. Silent. No. More. Mm. Imagine having to meet Jason Mraz much. It's more likely than you think. If you saw Jason Mraz in public, would you say hello to him? I think I would not say anything. I would be in too much shock. I think I would run away, and as I'm running away, I have a podcast about you. You wouldn't recognize him? He's got his coconut fedora. He's got that boyish smile on his face. He's got charm that he exudes, and you wouldn't... Mm. I guess maybe I'm just more familiar. Okay, let's... I, I, I guess if they have... You wouldn't put the place where somebody got stamped. As physical as people you see on a daily basis. True. I guess it's more shocking here. Okay, maybe not department based. District. Grimhaven Bay. Subjects. Patients. Period. Oh, uh, may that's why. I was looking at the wrong uh, piece of evidence. Found it. Peter Crowley, M29, Oak Monitor. Multiple burns and fragmentation was chest and face as a result of explosion, several surgeries, wound treatment, facial surgery, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Joseph Willow, M39, Newcomer, deep coat wound to the left shoulder, broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound stitch, fracture set and bandage, no trace of infection, evident prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Okay. So we know that this guy is down here, or somewhere in this hospital. He's in the bed rest. I think this is an interesting system for how the game works, like they're, um, like you're actually doing some sort of mystery solving because you're like, oh, I have to go to the hospital to go do this. I have to go use their archives. I got to figure out what pieces of components I know. I do kind of wish uh, the evidence thing wasn't like that. And I'm not just saying that because I just fucked it up a little bit. I fucked it up because it wasn't super clear. That's why. Like, I think if you're working on an active case, it should probably just pop the one that you have. What is wrong with this globe? Oh, it's not a globe, it's... The world's tackiest phonograph. Record player. You good? Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. That's probably for the best. Oh, gonna... my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever treat me. again, no sir. You the guy? What happened to you? What happened to you, mister? Nope, not the guy. <laughs> Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh, hurts talking. Okay, I won't ask you anymore. I'm sorry. Well, get better soon. Hey, sometimes I also don't know what to say in a situation, my guy. I don't remember your name either. Bye. I'm gonna call you Fedora Hat Man. Are you the guy I need to find? Uh, maybe he's upstairs again. This is kind of messy. I think this hospital would be better organized. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? Are you I'm sure about that? For someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. You, you should probably look somewhere else. He's lying. Why'd you lie? That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. He's turned into a pirate. Who sent you? You figured me out, mate. Hey, I've been a pirate the whole time. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Or I'll make y'all walk the plank. Investigating the visions. Reed. I'm a newcomer. He seems more interested in the visions the than he would be in the Titania stuff. Visions. We had them, my crew and I. And during the expedition, the dreams. You can't understand, Mr. Reed. You weren't there. Okay. 
What happened to the expedition? I think it would be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. If I can get him, roast him. Yeah, hey, you fucked it up. Never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. They'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Albert survived. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. Well, he made it to... He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. Okay, then don't say he didn't make it. He was murdered. That's a separate thing. We, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Okay, I mean, I guess like sharp your defense of I ordered a rescue attempt. What happened to the, during the final dive? What happened on the last dive? We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. It happens. Why were you drinking? I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Roast them. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. That's what they should have done in Rampa. those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. What happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Uh, what was the expedition looking for? What are you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters, the scientists... I like how his nipples are peeking through his, um, we're working on some bandages. Like, they didn't push down hard enough, or his nipples are just so strong and powerful that, that they're just, like, pressing through. Land. Really. Very impressive. Days over the cracks. It's very cold. Very cold in the hospital. Saw things looking Probably put a blanket around him. Why'd you abandon the divers? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror. Hey, it's a little chilly in here, right? We saw things. Want me to get you a blanket or something? One of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters. Mark my words. I, I think I like the kind of animation they're using for this. Like, it makes sense given A, the size of the studio, uh, B, the resources that they had. But there's something, like, a weird... Like, I understand it's not, like, super high quality, but there's something very weirdly off-putting about it. I can't like, quite place exactly what it is. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No. No. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. He looks a little bit like, so um... Sad. What's his face? Lighthouse so Man, sad. Green Goblin, William Defoe. Diver. With all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. You got two guns for boogeymen. What do you mean? I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Okay, well, I want the ship's log. Where's the log book from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. You were robbed? I'm a detective. I can help you. You know where I can get a good diving suit. My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Thank you, I am. Bye. Better soon. <laughs> okay, so we have to go to a factory and we have to figure out what happened to his stuff. Catch me. Please, please, just here. This itching is driving me insane. Sorry, we're not that familiar. I, I don't feel all right scratching you. Um, maybe if you get your social link up with me, I'll consider it. Give you a little, like, scratch on the neck. I had to pet two dogs yesterday. That was also fun. That's something nice that happened. Fucking huge dogs, too. Okay. Uh, crazy crew went solder. Titanic crew went mad and started a massacre at the port as a result. Uh, this is, okay. Casebook. Mind Palace. Kill can't do anything with these burned documents. Diving suit factory, cap standard evidence. Ship's log center. The last anchor point the scientists discovered some cracks in the seabed. Okay. 
Have anybody wounded? Okay, we did that. I need to find where this could be. I don't know where the surgery ward is. But I guess that would be downstairs. That seemed kind of surgery-esque. Uh, how do I activate my crafting menu again? C, crouch, inventory? Yeah, here we go. Crafting menu. Uh, I'm gonna make some revolver bullets because I have a bunch of resources. Uh, so I think the next, like, skill point I'm gonna get, I'm gonna probably put into, like, um, explosives, because there are, like, large monsters I can't necessarily kill. You're new here. Hey, knock it off! You weren't here before, sir. I just got a few questions. Um. But I don't necessarily know what I would need to do in order to defeat them. Because like charging monsters, but like you don't necessarily have like a lot of space to maneuver on them. Crew complaining of noise and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. March 22 reached the crew reporting hallucinations. Distributed a rum. Hopefully, will distract them. <laughs> Found an air pocket in the caverns near the Devil's Seat, close to the city. Scientists discover walls, ancient walls. Asked for crates with tools. Sent Tate and Myers down to investigate after surfacing deadline passed. Tate and Myers returned with only Albert Throckmorton, who is now completely unhinged, his madness disturbing and settling. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. Oh, you know, sometimes it happens. You can't stop everyone from mutinizing. Okay. So we know that there is something near the Devil's Teeth. Do we have the Devil's Teeth on the map? Is this the Devil's Teeth? What is this? No. I don't think we have the Devil's Teeth on the map. Uh, more notably, we need to to the diving suit factory. Factory in Western Grimhaven Bay on C, Smith Avenue. Grimhaven Bay. C, Smith Avenue. Between Levy Coffin and Deep Shore. Levi, Deep Shore. This is Deep Shore. Where is Levi? Here we go. So this should be the factory? C. Smith Avenue. Which one of these is, is this C. Smith Avenue, though? I don't think so. But this is between Deep Shore Road and Levi. That's Levi. I guess we'll go here. It might be this road. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll just mark this spot and hope for the best. It's a cool system. But it, it gives me so much room for error that I get concerned that I'm gonna fuck it up. Well, that's just gamer's intuition, you know. Also, the roboticness of all, like, the um, NPCs walking around, it's unsettling. Uh, I It definitely seems like it's just like, hey, we just wanted the city to feel, like, lived in. And so we put these all people in like the same canned animation. But it does kind of help the atmosphere of this place is a weird place to be. You know, like this whole city area is strange and the people here are a little strange. Um, it works. I don't know how they did it. It should be jarring and like kind of game breaking. It is a little bit, but it is like... Helps in some ways, it hurts in others. Hi. You're both wearing the same outfit. There was a man here a second ago and he disappeared because I looked away from the camera. <laughs> okay, this is the Blackwood Marsh canning factory. Uh, a diving suit's like a big old can, right? That makes sense. Any of you all know where an entrance is here? This way. Huh? Anything? This definitely seems like it'd be the place. Call me a naive medley. But. You know. Yeah. 
Hmm. I don't think I saw an entrance here. Let's try further back then. Oh yeah, what about over here? This could also potentially be an entrance. Aha! Hello. I'm here, having a good time. Nothing. Nothing. What is this? Five of them. Flashlight. What is this fucking ugly ass can? I can't tell. This is the awful logo. No one would be able to read that in a grocery store shelf. It's on fire? How much of this just seems like random garbage thrown around? Reminds me of like Fallout levels, where like you walk into a place and there's just the same garbage that's in every other zone, just kind of like littering the hallways. I, I never liked that. Hello. What are you? I'm so glad that there's not like a limited amount of photos you can take. Is anything? Is anything? No? Okay. What about this? Seems like we have to go up rather than down. But like... There's not gonna be heavy machines on the second floor, given that it's a, uh... factory. Am I in the wrong place? It seems like a cultist meeting zone and not a place for me to get a diving suit. Like, this seems like a place I have to explore when I have, like, a mystery to solve here. You know? This is like a seafood canning factory, not like... I guess the thing I'm looking for. Yeah. Let's try this way then. Maybe down here. It'd be helpful if you could like ask an NPC around here, be like, hey, do you know where this place is? And they could like point me in the right direction. I don't trust these, like, creepy little rats. I don't get their whole vibe. I don't want them around me. I might be a sicko for attacking just random little fellows. But... I think the world will thank me for it. I'll attack this man, too. Quit staring, newcomer. Get the rock out of here. No. Quit staring, newcomer. Get the rock out of here. I'm not even looking at you. You know where anything is? Oh, there's a door. Not this way, because this way is a, a way somewhere else. This is Levi Street, I want to say. Yeah, this is Levi Street. And if the casebook is saying... Uh, on C. Smith Avenue, between Levi Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Might be one of these ways? Cause what is this? This way is not no, this is Flint and Luxury. This is Nantucket Street. Okay, this is C Smith Avenue. Oh okay, okay, yeah. So it's gotta be here. It's gonna be in the water. Go the right way? I am going the right way. That's on me for not thinking that something can be in the water. Even though we have found things that were in the water before. Hmm. 
No, boy. Not up over here. Raise the question of how am I gonna get there? I guess I could try and walk along this edge. Well, that might be the best idea. A boat here I can use? No? Shame. I don't know what dictates areas as boat spawn locations. It's nice that they have a good public infrastructure for boats, though. Okay, I was hoping I could find a pathway there, but I guess not. There we go. It spawned in now, after I walked away. Get that can. Hit the left. Drift. Boat drift. Love to see it. Is that it? No. That's a separate gross little thing. This it? I don't think so. It's probably this right here. a diving suit factory for sure. You can tell because it says diving suit factory. There are some enemies that shoot projectiles and I don't know where they are. But they are a real problem. so I'm keeping an eye out for them, because if they come for me, I want to shoot them before they get a chance to kill me. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not that experienced with the Navy stuff. My bad. I'm just trying to help this man whose name I've forgotten at this point. Probably don't want to go in the water just yet. I think there are skills you can get that make you better at being in water, but I don't have any of them. Bullets. We can probably switch to this gun. We I'm not trusting my life to a rusty Keep finding suit. bullets for this gun and we haven't been using it. That one looks nice. Okay. Also this, so I think when we grab this we're gonna get attacked by something. Harpoon gun, flare gun, diving suit. Someone coming to fight me? I've got my gun ready. Huh, I guess not. These last two areas have been like really light in enemies. Like I'm used to fighting more enemies just from like the weird optional stuff we've done so far. Like these last two have just been two enemies that you can one shot each shot. I genuinely don't get it. Okay, we can go 100 meters down. Devil's Seeth are not far from Oakmont Port. I have the coordinates to be able to get there by boat. Okay. So we can go to this boat over here. Shouldn't be too bad. But we are facing the wrong direction for this boat. Oh, I don't like how this thing turns. When you're going in reverse, the, the directions are changed out. If I wanted to go reverse and left, I'd do this. So I do to go left normally. Maybe that's how things normally work, and I'm just a fool and I've forgotten how stuff works. Or oh, the wrong way. I am a fool. Stop. Stop. Turn. Ooh. So I guess maybe those skills I found for going underwater are more for these things. Also, shit, shit. I want to check my skills. I think I'm pretty close to a new level. I'm not at all. I was wrong. Like, we found all the evidence in the last place. But I don't think we got XP for it. I think I'm just like, yeah, you got stuff. 
Congratulations. Uh, we head down to that boat over there. It does seem a little weird that we're already going down into the the sunken city, but maybe that makes sense. I should check my uh, letters from Oakmont stuff. The map screen is very nice. It's neat how the game does it. The boat is an absolute nightmare, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, this is uh, Western Advent. We're looking for anything in Grimhaven Bay. Okay, now this is St. Michael's Church. If you'd love to loan my schedule, Mistrich, I stream uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then also Friday for co-op cuties. Normally, unless unless I'm not gonna do something. If I'm not streaming that day, I'll let people know. So if I, I am gonna be playing with uh, Rope Snakes on Rope Snakes' channel at some point soon, and those days I will not be streaming here. I will be hanging out in the background whenever that happens. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. How are you doing, Mist? Uh, Oak Street, Reed Heights, Grimhaven Bay. For another part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street, barely made it to Hubert Avenue. Northern part of Grimhaven Bay, Hubert Street, Whisper Street. Doing good? That's good to hear. Northern Grimhaven Bay at the corner of Hubert Avenue and Whisper Street. Which one of these is Hubert Avenue? Flintlock? Hollow Lane? I swear, sometimes I have... I could find like one road and I'm like following around this whole thing and I have no idea where the other one is. And then when I find it, I feel like a fool. Whisper still. Because this is too far down south for it to be northern Grimhaven Bay still. Whisper Street, Whisper Street, Deep Shore Road, Flintlock, Whisper... This is Hubert. Okay, so it's just here. That's a separate thing. It's also like an enemy zone. Uh, maybe I should go just check that out because I haven't been there yet. Like, if it's like a scary zone, it'll maybe be good for XP and resources. Though I am pretty good on resources right now. I kind of want to just go there to see what it's like. I'll have to start putting points into like actual skills rather than the ones I have been doing so far because. It'll get me better suited for stuff. This is interesting, though. What's going on over here? It's the whole little zone. Oh, jeez. I don't like the look of this fella. I don't like your vibes. I think this guy's a projectile fella. Yep, there we go. There's one. Aha! I mean, he hit me that time, but still, haha. Okay. Uh, let's pop a thingy. That's two of those fellas. Grab some 45 AVP rounds. Shout out to everyone who played All Points Bulletin, the awful, awful MMO, with a really good character creator. That game was... I played that game a lot. I played that game more than anyone should have. It was not a good video game. I think it's still live. I think you can still go play All Points Bulletin. I wouldn't recommend it. Five alcohol. Hello? Anyone down here? I've got a gun. And an inkling for murder. Those two fellas gave me like 100 XP though, that's pretty good. 
I'm curious though if resources replenish. Because, like, the game keeps saying resources are scarce. And, like, getting through that encounter there definitely kind of pushed my stuff a little bit further than I thought I would. Just because it took too many bullets to take those guys down. But, like, it wasn't necessarily too bad. And yeah, we just gotta go forward. And it feels like there's areas in the game where, like, things could respawn. But I don't know yet for sure. We should save before we go up there, though. That work? Okay, there we go. Probably work now. What's up? Ah, I fucking called that shit. Stop hitting me, please. Okay. Huh. A lot of fellows here. Don't like that. Let's see what we can craft. Make some of those. Make some of these. Reload till we're at full on these, and then maybe grab a little bit of a self heal hmm so these alcohol I think are used for fire bombs which we have not gotten the ability to craft yet which is why we're out here essentially yeah, those guys go down from one normal pistol shot so we should not waste other rounds on them now the revolver bullets which we have been doing this whole time so maybe that was just like a really good shot. But if it's a really good shot, I can just do it every time because I'm such a good shot. Oh jeez, oh god, oh fuck, oh no, don't shoot. Now you... are going to be a problem. He slowed me down? Okay, hit that thing in the back and it died. Which is good. So I am now out of bullets again. Which is a problem. Uh, make one of those, and that's all we can do. Looks like we're in melee mode now, y'all. Game is rejoice, we're running away! Although I believe that we could definitely go punch all those guys to death. Absolutely. I have full confidence in our abilities to do that. Do I think it'll work? No, I don't think so. That's two ranged guys. Which would be a problem. Can I do this? I think I can stun lock him at the right timing. Just gotta make sure we don't get hit there. Like I just did. I don't think we lose anything for that though. I think that's the thing with this game, like you die, you just get teleported back outside of the zone. We might be a little bit further than we'd like to be from the next spot, but it's all right. These things work out. It's fine. It's fine. Oi. Blading times are a little bit long, though. Where are we right now? Uh, ooh, we're not too far away. So if we want to go try that again, we can. We have a boat. 
shit, did we lose XP? I think we did lose some XP, because we have our resources back. So, I guess I was wrong about that. We're all learning here together. Uh, might be best to just go and over here then. Because we don't have we don't have enough resources to be able to go and kill through all those enemies. We're gonna need like some other like thing going for us to get through that. Uh, which necess well, like it won't necessarily be a problem because like there are like perks that get you better resources, like better resource gain and things like that, which might be what we have to do next. But I think going and doing main story stuff is going to be enough to get us the uh, XP to get the standard, the firebomb perk. And then we can then use that to get the other stuff. This is the way. This is the way. I think this is the boat that the game wants me to go to. And it looks like it. I'm so glad we don't have to go and travel, like do normal boat traversal out there, because that would be a fucking nightmare. This is curious, though. I guess like an old school diving station. We put on this very large diving suit and go down here. This doesn't seem like a one-person job. This seems like you would need more than one person to do this. Y'all ever feel like an astronaut in the ocean? Okay. I was like, wondering how this loaded so fast, like it was really quick to load that area. What do we have access to? We have access to this and this. Don't necessarily know what the difference is, but we got them. This is an abandoned boat. I can't see shit right now. What's going on? Is there anything? No. I feel like I should be looking for like resources to pick up while I'm down here. But maybe that's gonna distract from my ability to find like really absorb the we're underwater in a diving zone. Should I go down here? I think so. Cause like, there's little white markers here. And there are signal flares underwater? What is this? Oh, jeez. That, that scared me a little bit. That's unsettling. Don't like that. So... The game knows that your mental health will go down when you look at stuff that's like unsettling, like the little blue meter. But I don't know what I'm looking at that is so unsettling. What if I go over here and don't look at anything? It's all still going down, that's not great. Yeah, I, I think our blue meter is about to go down completely now. I don't know what that means. I like, did we die? I really don't know. Okay. Sure. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Interesting. Oh, hi. It do be like that. It do be like that. 
You good? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have mocked me as their aphid. So no, you are not. Madness emanates from the scientists. Albert survivors. Burn documents. Okay. A little treat for me. The suits are all cut up. Probably because of the fucking knife in them, my man. What do you mean? <laughs> it looks a bit like a face. Hey, what's going on? A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Okay. What's uh, your deal, sir? Hark, he comes. The sacred, full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me. I beg you. Bearer of what? <laughs> Who are you talking to? You seem pretty chill about this, my man. Uh, our, our eyes. First, second, third. Opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the Damn. horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. A talks like Yuri Anjay. But, but it is meaning that is meaningless. The white shell of the virgin. Open yourself. Pray thee, do tell me. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. Man's got a pretty good haircut for being in a scary zone like this. What about you? Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. This rock looks like a nose. Is this what you guys are down here investigating? I'll take that as a maybe. Mind Palace, Mad Scientist. Can't leave the survivors to die here, even if the madness may influence others, this is not their fault. I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. I mean, no, I'm gonna save these fuckos. Yeah. Anything else going on here? Mad Scientist. Madison Latania. The outbreak of Madison Latania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him to the lifeboat to stop it. Albert was the source of the madness. Was he? I don't... Because something else would have to be the source of the madness, right? Where's this... thingy? How do I get back to the thing I was looking at? Lore? No. Well, it's gone forever. What's back here? That looks like a separate fire. Maybe someone else is down here and they got their suit cut up and they couldn't come back to the surface and they're all like still pretty chill about it. But they're like ah damn. I'm not one of these sickos over here. The ones talking about praying and worshipping th things. Thought that was a, like a slender man. I got scared. I said please don't be a slender man. How does this work? Oh. Oh! It's Cthulhu. Okay, we're just gonna go full Cthulhu here? It's kinda hoping to be, you know, not full Cthulhu. Maybe like some Hester, some other stuff. That'd be kinda cool. Anything? No? Cool. Cool. I think I took a photo of this earlier. Casebook more. I don't want to do this. Another attacker. Lost at sea. Okay. 
Do we go back up to the surface now? I don't know. It seems weird to only come down here to get those two things. Like those those clues and talking to that one guy. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do? I genuinely don't know. You got anything else to say? You see now, do you? The splendid oh, horror of the truth. Be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Yeah. This might be it. I've never liked caves. They creep me out. I like the idea of being underground. It's unsettling in a way. I have not watched any of the underground scary movies either. I'm just already not finished here yet. Okay, I guess I'm not finished here yet. What's left to do? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods... Hmm. You got any more? A ritual knife, a cold sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. I'm taking a photo of this guy. That's kind of set out. Can't take a photo of that guy again. Is something here I missed? Like, is there another turn I didn't see? I assume to be the left. There is like a loud sound emanating this way. I can't say I know exactly what it is. Take a photo of this. The big old Cthulhu statue. What else is your boy missing? Something on my case notes I need to do? Mind Palace? No. Deductions? There we go. Hey, the survivors, madness on the Titania. Albert was a source of the madness. No. Clues? No. More. This is attacker. Kill the Underworld Temple. He's wearing a strange image of the image. A memorial dagger. Am I supposed to do something with this? This is the same guy. Hmm. I don't know. Like it has like an icon on it, but I guess it just means go talk to Robert Throckmorton about it. Suits are all cut up. Nothing there. Oh uh, no, that's just a rock. They've they've put a whole rock in this crate. Two of them even. You're just kinda out of it. I love that for you, buddy. Where are we going? <sighs> Who's that? Oh, that's the same guy. Are they new? Gods lean over us. Nope. Gods crawl in us. I'm not finished here yet. But what are we missing here, sir? Hello? Is that guy? Can I walk? 
What happens if I walk off the edge? I guess I don't want to find out what happens if I walk off the edge. That'd be a bad idea. Goes against all my gamer instincts, you know? Anything over here? And set myself on fire. Press this fire is still going, so I guess that's that. See what happens if I walk off the edge? Okay. That was a bad idea. Hi Kelly, how you doing? We're wandering around. Underground, in underwater, under a cave, there's Cthulhu statues, we're all having a time down here. We spawned back here. Scientists didn't even take their tools with them. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Gods lean over us. Gods okay. crawl in us. Nothing here necessarily just yet. The suits are all cut up. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Maybe I need to get another photo of this guy? No, I have a photo of this guy. I'll take so many photos of the guy. You're gonna be a dialogue again? You no. see now, do you? The splendid Santa horror of the truth. Be you our see eyes. now, do you? I the splendid the horror of the truth. Stars. Hmm. What am I missing here? It also seems brighter down here now. I don't know why. Hmm. Hey, Jared, how you doing? That's a very good emo combination. I think they look like waddle -dees, but I guess they're like little owls. You see now, do you? The I do. I do. Can I leave, sir? Game? What am I doing? Let me out of here. Can I go now? I'm not finished here yet. What are we? What's left? Tell me. That's all I want to know. Um. Huh. By that rock over there with a hole in it? No? Nothing? Seems like a weird rock. It's got a hole in it. You? No. All the other things I took pictures of had, like, icons for taking pictures on them. So I don't know why other stuff doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. We have to climb something? I didn't see anything worth climbing yet. I don't want to fall down the hole. And then I just get sent back to the start. Which is fun. What am I missing? I think I might just go look up a walkthrough to be like, hey, here's the things that you need to go do when you're down here. Can I go for no, this is a rock. There's more rocks in here now. There was just two rocks before. That might have been a different one. Hmm, what's the, what about this? Nothing? Hmm. Okay, what is this? Lost at sea. Expedition anchor point, okay. The sinking city. Expedition anchor point. All evidence.
Damage gray boxes with tools. Try talking to two mad sailors. Check the damaged suits. Get on the photograph. Prehistoric statue. That clues, mad scientists, save the survivors, okay. Madness not any deduction. Albert was the source of the madness. They closely alter examine it using mind's eye. That's what I'm forgetting about. I'm forgetting about mind's eye. I always forget about this thing. Perfectly preserved artifact. Yeah. Was it the focus of their worship? Anything else here worth looking at? Can I talk to you again? You see nope. now, do you? Oh, here we go. The splendid horror of the truth. Ah, shit. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. I wish there was a better indication of, hey, you need to use your mind's eye here. Because I keep forgetting about that power. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. Okay. Okay. What? It's shivering. This is... no! Get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. I think this might actually be two or three. I think this is one. And this one might be three. The temple, the moment they take but I could be wrong about that. Get ready to cut them. Okay. What? It should be. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! The expedition. Oh, I did, I got it. The artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Look at me! I think I did a good job there after I figured out there's a whole thing to do. Mind Palace. There we go. The Innsmouthers know the truth about this madness. They need the artifact, and here it's the one who took it. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can leave. Probably should kill this guy, though. Just. I feel like putting him out of his misery might be the best idea here. Uh, hopefully we don't have to walk back in the water, because that's a lot. You're gonna get the fucking the what is the thing when you go up to the surface too fast? The bends? You're gonna get that, buddy. Don't do that. I don't know if they've discovered that yet in your time, but it's bad. Worry about it. Okay. All right. Let's head on down. Get over to this boat. To go talk to Robert Throgmorton. I don't know exactly where he is. Yeah, we definitely got the bends. We came to the surface way too fast. Can't blame this one on visions, my man. This ain't Cthulhu. That's just air pressure. We have hair. Thought we were nude for a second. Got concerned. What are we doing? Uh, Don't touch the weird rock then, my man. Oh, it's gonna be like Eternal Darkness where we get Cthulhu powers. That'd be kind of fun. 
That'd be like a good little change of pace here, I think. It seems like we hit the end of the first chapter, I think. Based off of just like getting sent back to our hotel room. Like that makes sense to me. And that might open up like some extra side cases, which is what I'm curious about, because I, I love of being stronger than the main story content. I love having resources. Hi, mine's at us? Nope, I am. Crew of the Cyclops. Look at that. Here's my Edgar Allan Poe thingy. What's this? This would also be a good time for things in the world to respawn, because we just came back to this area. Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure out the sign out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you know already, kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tradition dates back to times well before the flood. Find out the meaning of some of them. You see the crooked H sign on the doors? That means the house is inhabited. The cross hatch grid sign marks hidden caches of useful items. The V-shaped sign is for barricaded danger places. Good catch there, they say. Don't forget the spiral-shaped sign, though. You'll have to investigate for yourself. And if you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for the gun. I am not going to remember any of that. But I appreciate the heads-up game. Resources. Yay. What do you got? I'm watching you, newcomer. Appreciate that. Always happy to have a second set of eyes on this adventure. Okay. That's a thingy. Devil's Reef Hotel. Where is Throgmorton's house? Throgmorton Manor. It's right up that way. Um, we can go right and then go up directly towards it, actually. Is it the right way? It is the right way. Oops. Wait. I'm gonna go this way first, and then... Cutting through the road would be a bit of a process, I think. Though I do think sometimes uh, the roads it shows are actually sometimes blocked. Just won't be super obvious about it every time. Like a twisty turn. I don't like driving this boat, but I can get used to it. Boat life. I think I'm suited towards it. That guy drove that boat? Not suited towards it. He crashed into a fucking building. He crashed a boat into a building in the middle of town. That's a bad boating. Uh, what's this? I think I've been here before? Might have not been here before. Don't like that. Again, still, same place. The last one. Oh. Gun mode. These guys are vulnerable from the back, so like switching to melee makes sense there. I because I think the melee hitbox extends a little bit back there. Best if you throw it at an angle. I didn't want to like try and maneuver myself around behind the guy. Though that might have been the best thing to do. 12 gauge shell. Interesting. And a firebomb? Okay, it looks like things are starting to look up for your boy. Some sheet music. That's apparently nothing. Okay, no this one. 
Sheet music notes. Don't open the window. There's a void behind it. Don't listen to music from outside. Don't stop playing or engulf your thoughts. Be loud. As loud as you can, you're alive until you stop making sounds. Sheet music is an extremely complex overture for violin. It's doubtful that anyone will be able to play it. Don't like that. I am curious. What's going on back there? What do you got? Game. There's something that we weren't able to grab. I don't know what it was. But I'd love to find out so I can go get it. Nothing there. More sheet music. Can't get anything from that either. Might have just been a fun stop on the road then. Kill two fellas. Keep on trucking. Alright. Might have to come back here later, but for now, that's fine. Dombrowski's Real Estate. I kept reading those Decemberists, and I wasn't sure what we were doing here. I'm real confused. Yep, I'm gonna go right here. Past this little cool little dock. Fun little spot for some homies to hang out. Then we got a couple of brews. Smoke some meats. Just a vibe out in the middle of the ocean. It'll be a good time. I love big ominous trees. It's one of my favorite things in video games. I wish there were large ominous trees in real life. I think that would improve my experience here in this world. A lot of people outside, just waiting outside of Throgmore's Manor. The gas station. Cool. The reason I'm rushing over here is because I think if we can do this part, it will unlock some extra side content. Hello. Uh, your expedition needs help. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Um, there was a mutiny on the Titania. The of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. I think they're all dead, so... Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? We, we did a lot of stuff. How did that happen? We figured out a lot of mysteries. Uh, Innsmouthers knew about the ruins. The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there hiding... I don't actually know who the Innsmouthers are. The Innsmouthers call... The seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers, do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. This could be a My guy you killed. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. It happens. They have Harriet and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. Okay. Uh, how does this connect to my I'm investigation? I'm looking into the madness 
Not politics and power. I mean, I already said yes, so it's fine. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Damn. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. Mm -hmm. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter oh. I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. Tell me I more. can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a... Uh, Collector of fine art. Love to hear I'm that. A detective, Mr. How many John NFTs Warner, does he own? Not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. Okay, I'll do it. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. Secret case. case. must remain secret. And you Love must a not secret case. to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. I've never heard that before. Reed. Here is Herbert's address in an advance. I mean, discretion being your safe word would be a little weird. You'll find it's fair. I guess if you can ask for discretion, it makes sense. Have a good day. Oh, hell yeah. Two knowledge points? I love that for me. Well, okay, what do we want to use this for? Trapper, set traps twice as quickly. Give an extra bullet loot, getting a chance to do double damage. Okay, this is higher damage with guns, which could be good. Don't necessarily need that yet. Uh, we have unnatural recovery. Close to death, delivery general, limited health. Vitality increases. Falling damage. Carry three more rifle rounds, six more revolver rounds. Carry seven more pistol rounds. These could be good. 25 pieces of any crafting material could also be good. 50% chance to double quest reward items. Remain sane for much longer. We might want to do this. Double quest reward items earned. I don't know. It's like having access to all that stuff would be good. Do we have uh, crafting for bombs yet? I don't, I think we do. Let's see if we have our inventory. Okay, yeah, we can make bombs now, so this is good. We could just start doing this. I'm gonna make one of those. And one of these. I can't. Uh, I think I want to... Carry more pistol round? Uh, so, I want to get this, and I think I want to get this. But which one of these will give me the most space? Okay. This is more stuff. And this is more. This is potentially more stuff. We we'll really go on to that other stuff pretty fast. Quid pro quo. Dedicate matter. I think that's the one we want to do first. Delicate matter. Mr. RMS would find having a Herbert Clever collector of fine arts. It was in Goldbridge Road in Central Old Grove. His house is situated between Windhoff and Century Avenue. Between Windhoff and Century Avenue on Goldbridge Road. So here. This is good. We also want to go check to see which of these things from a uh, letter from Oakmont is set in Old Grove. Old Grove. Uh, Western Reed Heights. Old Grove. Coverside. Grimhaven Bay. Old Grove. Old Grove. Old Grove. Oak Street. Oak Street. Reed Heights. Reed Heights. This one is an Old Grove. Force me to leave the hotel. Okay, so this one's close to the hotel, I think. That's next to the church. The house in Southern Old Grove on Warwick Street. Somewhere between Seaside and Hillside. And this is... Western Advent, so... Between Warwick Street... Okay, Warwick Street between 
Seaside Street and Hillside Street. Which one of these is Seaside Street? Okay, this is Hillside and this is Seaside. This is Warwick. But Warwick stops here. I guess we'll go check over here. Might might not be there, but it seems like it'll be there. I don't know. Let's vibe out. Over here, looking for open doors. Anything for your boy. Is this way. Hello? I've got a hunger for mysteries. And my appetite tells me this might be something. It wasn't anything. Hmm. Warwick Street, somewhere between Seaside and Hillside Street. Hello! Pantsman X, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, the Pantsman X. How you doing? How's Ratchet and Clank? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Delinquents. Fucking love Yakuza. This is Kiwami 1. Watch this drive. Oh, hey, Hobbs. How you doing? Pants raid. There you go. Yeah, hi, Raiders. I'm the world's cutest gamer. I'm here playing The Sinking City. Uh, it's a Cthulhu detective game. Uh, a Cthulhu detective game where they don't put anything on your map, so you have to go find stuff based on directions. It's been a fun time. Doing well? It's always good to hear. I'm doing alright. I'm just vibing. My The roof of my mouth feels a little itchy. And I'm like, hmm. That's weird. So I've been drinking some water. But besides that, I'm having a good time. Uh, the only Ratchet & Clank game I played was Size Matters on the PSP. But I've always liked those games. Are you playing the new one, right? They made like a bunch of new ones because they put out like a movie, but like they're based on the old ones. There's always like Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. Those like the those were the games of the era. OG HD remaster. It sounds good. Sounds like a good time. Um, I like seeing how those like weapons kind of evolved in those games, like the actual like evolution. Is it that short? Interesting. There's something about newer games where I feel like newer games are too long. And I feel like you can find like kind of sweet middle ground with some games being pretty short, but like... I, I don't necessarily mind a game being super long. Like I played through Elden Ring this year, because it came out this year. And that game took me like 120 hours and I had a great time for most of all of it. But like I still prefer a game that's like six hours long. That's like my sweet spot in terms of how long do I want a game to be. Six to eight hours is great. Uh, so I have to find a house in Southern Old Grove on Warwick Street, somewhere between Seaside and Hillside Street. And I thought it would be here, because this is Warwick Street. But this is Hillside Street and this is Seaside Street. There's a chance that it's somewhere in this kind of watery area, but I don't know for sure just yet. But it's like a side thing, so I can just come back here later. We have another thing, which is uh, a delicate matter. Uh, who lives in Goldbridge Road in Central Old Grove. I think we actually have this marked. Yeah, it's right there. So I'll go deal with that right now because it's like an actual, like, interesting side quest, not like a, hey, just go over here and look at some stuff. But if you need to chill out and vibe, I know whenever I raid someone, I just don't do anything for, like, 30 minutes. I just, like, kind of sit there and be like, I'm tired from stream. I just need to sit and, like, not be a human being for a little bit. Take care of yourself, you know? I feel you. The NPCs in this game are a little wild, you know. Hey, thanks for the follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get yourself a snack. Relax. I think whenever I'm done streaming, I have like, a, I have like peanuts. I know, I love Yakuza games. I'm so excited for 8 when it comes out. I saw like the little, it wasn't like a leak, 
like they it was like actual stuff that they put out because it was one of the people who was like getting motion capture for the game was like, yeah, this is some stuff they told me to send out. It's weird that it got described as a leak, but I'm very into it. I've actually just looked into a bunch of the Yakuza 7 mods to see if like there are some like harder difficulty mode mods or like things that kind of change the gameplay in a way. Because I just finished watching someone else play through the game for the first time. And I was like, I really want to go back and play this game again because there's a lot of stuff I didn't go back and do the first time. And they didn't release any sort of like DLC, which makes sense because it's, you know, the Yakuza game. They don't want to put out a story DLC necessarily. I think the biggest thing we got was the Majima Saga from Kiwami 2. But that wasn't like DLC necessarily. That was just like, hey, this is a new part of Kiwami 2. That's kind of an extension for everyone who was into uh, Yakuza 0 Majima. But, one of these, I, they're just not good about, well, they're little, like, signs that people put on the walls to tell you if a door can open. But, they're hard to see at times. We need to go find uh, whether or not... This man who collects art somewhere around here. What happened to him? I assume he's dead. Herbert Glover's address. What does it say? The Goldberg Road in Central Old Grove is situated between Windhalf and Century Avenue. Which is where we are. This is Windhalf and Century. This is Goldbridge. It's one of these houses. This door's open. Aha! That's not good. I can't believe I missed the first shot. I'm furious. Also should not be using the good bullets to kill those guys. They die from normal bullet. Any other little fellows around here? To make my day easier. Someone else? I understand why they don't have a hitbox between their legs, but like... It's a little bit very precise. What did I just do? I took off that man's mask. Sorry, sir. Shouldn't have done that in public. <laughs> Mr. Throgmorton, it's with deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased. Now it's triple that which we agreed earlier. This is the second time that I've raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. Uh, so everything in the city uh, got wiped out by a flood not too long ago. Francis Throgmorton. Why keep a 40-year-old newspaper article? I don't know. Old people do that. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. Ooh. That's a weird thing to keep, though. I keep I keep a newspaper notification of when my friend became single. Um, we were looking through some family baby books earlier, and like people announce when their babies are born. They like, used to announce when their babies are born in the local newspaper. Like I think it used to be like required by law sometimes. Um, and I was like, maybe you should announce when you're single in the local newspaper. That would be. Weird, but maybe effective. Literally, like, you know, get your name out there. Looking to looking to find love again. Let me just send it out to the local newspaper. About 240 characters, $120 for a day. You probably want to send it to the Friday newspaper, so that way people who are looking for dates in the newspaper, as people do, can send out. They're like, okay, here we go. This is concerning. What's this? Is that art? Or is it like a dragon? Nothing down here necessarily, which is a little strange. I should probably keep my gun out. Keep switching to the wrong gun. Hello. Is that ominous? We've seen a lot of dead bodies already. It's still wide open. He didn't see the killing blow coming. I mean, he got stabbed in the chest. I would hope he saw this killing blow coming. Unless someone stabbed him afterwards. 
I thought it was interesting to me that people can tell like where the initial fatal blow came from. What's that? A little mirror. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Probably the one in the thing we just saw. Here's some bloody footprints. Slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. I've been trapped on lockpicking TikTok for a bit now. I feel like I should learn how to lockpick. It seems like a skill I'll never need, but I'd love to have. Okay. So since we have this thing over here, we now can, like, go trigger the like hey figure out the events in the order they happened squint run oh god oh, okay i have killed him hate that for you buddy easiest gig in this district you grab the mirror i'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from mr moneybags here very confident. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my Oh, you're house? just a bad shot. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Easiest gig in this district. I like how loudly they were talking when this guy what was just in, in the other room. You? Squint, run! Oh, oh okay. I have killed him. He sounds like the kid who broke his table at the end there. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Oh. Don't like that. Key evidence collected. Do they get all the evidence, though? I don't think so. Yeah, because there's still some stuff around. Because once we find all the evidence, we get like a big old XP bonus. And I want to have the XP bonus. Warning shots. Click this already. Wish there was a faster way to get out of there. Oh, what's this? I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Is that the last bit? I'll find out why the old so bad. Okay. Not this one. It's not this either. Can I spot anything here? Hey, Ralden, how you doing? The city do be sinking. And sometimes it's coming up. We went down to go see some people who were underwater and they were not doing well. So we're gonna go check up on them again later. Hopefully, they're doing all right later. They got infectious madness. Just like Dang and Rampa Despair, but how you doing? I need to go look at everything in this fucking house so I can get a little bit more bonus XP, because I fucking love XP. I'd do anything for some XP. Hello. Statue's head. Some hella good fuck. That's great. I haven't had good fur in a while, actually. Right, maybe I should go get some fur at some point. Door won't budge. That door looks like it definitely wants to budge. Just called a kitchen. That's a good name. Um, I've so there's this big thing I'm sure everyone's heard of called ghost kitchens, which is like you hire uh, another restaurant to like serve food for like a DoorDash app or something like that and like they it's not good because ghost kitchens are like run by like venture capitalists uh, and they like take advantage of small local businesses and like only give them a cut of the profit to like take it take their kitchens and use them for something else um, but they all have fucking stupid names and I live for things with awful names it's one of my favorite things it like honestly Half of my, half of the reason I like drinking is because everything that you drink is going to have a dumb name in it. Like, they don't make beer without awful names. It's just inherently part of 
the, the thing, the genre of drinking. Um, but all these, like, ghost kitchens also have awful names. Dwayne? Hmm. I think there's some key evidence behind this place that I just can't get access to. Oh, yeah. Captain Morgan. Commodore John. Uh, poop deck. Ass. I don't know why I said poop deck ass. That's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. Don't order. Don't get rum that's called poop deck ass. It's not going to be good. Sailor Jerry. I would buy Sailor Jerry. I love those dumb names. Poop deck Pete. Poop deck Pete better. Poop deck ass. Don't drink poop deck ass. Poop deck ass is... Uh, I made some poop deck Pete in my backyard. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I got scared by poop, poop deck Pete. Just maybe shit my pants a little bit there. Give her the two bits that borrow them. Sure, one bunch. Sailor Jerry exists? Okay. Uh, I, if I ever got rum, it would be the Kraken. Uh, there was a long period where I drank a lot of Dark and Stormies. Um, I think Dark and Stormy might be my favorite cocktail. A, because I like the name, once again. Heavily name-based. Sailor Jerry? Okay. We'll have to have some Sailor Jerry. Last time I went to Truffles Home, I brought some blueberry wine, and we all thought it was disgusting. Had way too much sugar in it, and next time I'll bring some Sailor Jerry. If I can find it. Where the fuck am I going? Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this last piece of evidence just yet. It was not good. I could not finish my cup. I felt ashamed. I was like, I, I do not want to process this much sugar. I do like 99 stuff. It's very dumb. But it's not very sugariness. I mean, it's, it's alcohol, so it's gonna turn into sugar. You know what? Tangled. I'll get some 99 next time we hang out. Just for you. It'll be an airplane bottle, though. At this point, I don't... It's probably, like, spoiled, right? I don't remember how long wine lasts, even if you cork it well. Which I don't think we did. Um... Hmm. Now with that much sugar in it? Um, I guess I don't know how the preservatives of wine work necessarily. Uh, okay, wait. Delicate matter. Two men broke into Harper Glover's house in Old Grove. Sick from here, one of them. It is not the first robbery in the district of Old Grove. A little picture of a strange looking mirror. Huh. Okay, so I should go to the police station and look up robberies in Old Grove. Probably tasting better. True. At some point, you put enough sugar in something, it's gonna be good. Uh, we need to find a fast travel point in the area. Like, I'm genuinely shocked I haven't found one at the start. I mean, it's pretty close to the other place, but I... Just don't want to take the boat here ever again. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister? No. You won't let me. Oh, I'd love to buy a virtual newspaper in this video game. But the game says no. Uh, I mean, I guess if there's going to be a fast travel point, it's going to be right outside of Throgmorton Manor. Because that's the place to be. Once we find the fast travel point, we'll fast travel over to the police station. I'm gonna take a break because I'm gonna stream for two hours. I wanna stand up and stretch. Get different water to drink. So I looked into a bit, uh, well, Beep looked into most of it for me, for the differences between the versions of this game. Like the one that exists on GOG and this one. And I think the one that's on GOG has uh, like a few patches, but it's not like a significant difference from what I was told. So I'll probably buy the GOG version because it'll support the actual developers of this game and not the people who just I guess, stole it. <laughs> um, but not necessarily to like move my progress over. I didn't like immediately find a save transfer thing, so I wasn't like desperate to look for one. Carpenter Manor. What is this? Who are the carpenters? Question for later.
This is gonna be Throgmorton. Is there a fast travel point around here? There we go. Then let's go to uh, police station, which is right here. Probably save when we get there, and then we'll be right back. Sometimes the load times in this game are like super short, other times they take like a fucking year. I have no idea why. Uh, save over this, absolutely, and I will be right back. Oh, new chapter, this makes sense. The way people have conceived this fun job in their minds, because of my own notions against it. But uh, yeah, I got Goku! <laughs> I forgot what we were doing! <laughs> I was so confused! <laughs> <laughs> Hit the button <laughs> and the fucking Goku shows up and I'm like, what are we doing? What happened? It's a big cat. Oh no! <laughs> I'm a child, I cannot drink that coffee. I can walk through this chair as children as children do. The gem's in the fridge. The gem's in the fridge. If I was a game developer, I would have put the gem in the fridge. This is worse. This is the worst thing that could have been in the fridge. Oh no. Times about like games UX stuff that I think is like Kind of weird. Nothing like, personal, kid. Such a business. He just nothing personaled me like a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog OC. I'm so mad. Not a compass, 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 not a compass. I thought this was telling me what this was, and I thought this was just a very weird font to use for lamp. And not left mouse button or E. Lumbe. Fine, I'll go kill the demon girl. Or I'll use this gun on the on the other one. A dog with one bullet. Do you think that counts as the one bullet? Uh dicks crash again in sixty-four. Stocks. It says stocks, not dicks. Uh <laughs> Do you mean, dear Claudia? Why did that not trigger a sound? Oh. Thank you for the three bits. Delayed. Is. Is. Are people. Are people fucking in these cars that we're walking by? Is that the sound? Did I just walk into Silent Hill's fuck alley? This is where people go when they can't fuck at their own homes. They get in the car and they come to this long stretch of road between the graveyard. Let me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look. After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. I thought something it else. It was fun. It tried to chew its own. To the uh, the pro skater remix that they put out. <laughs> what happened? What did you do? Did you trip? All my health is going away. All my health is gone. What's happening? What? What was that combination of things? It fell off of it. Hey y'all. Look at that. Perfect stream control. Is OBS has got nothing on this guy. That might be the best pun I've made this entire month. Where are they going? <clears throat> They're not even gonna get on the truck. 
Oh my god, the bottom part's not attached! What is anything connected to? What's happened? Alright, it's time to go. No! One Gatling gun is. I'm the Joker, baby. Did that count? That channel. I think everyone should be very proud of me because uh, every so often, I will start a stream and then I will do my little setting up video at the very beginning, like five minutes. I'm not there, and I will go and start a load of laundry, and then I'll tell myself during break, I will. Go and um, do. I'll put it in the dryer. And I never do. I never remember to do that. Do they? First time I was like, yes, I I went to go do it and I did it. It's in the dryer right now. I'm so excited. It's gonna be dry at the end of the stream, not still wet. I'm so happy. That's king shit. That's that's truly what like champions are made out of or something. Yeah. Let's go steal some information from the cops. That's weird. All right. Where are your archives, sir? I do not care to talk to you. I don't want to see your jail either. This one. This one. This one. Hello. Uh. This no. We're gonna mention this not his first robbery in the district of Olga. We want property crimes. We want suspects. We want old grove. Search. There we go. Philip O'Connell, alias Squint, male, forty-six. Numerous burglaries, old grave. Position entering. Hospital at Sydney Stokes. Twenty-one. Presence Oakmont Mass, Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. Crimes jaywalking, lollygagging, and jury duty dodging? What a motherfucker. Taking this guy in. Uh. Okay, so that's probably where we have to go. Northern Salvation Harbor. This is Grimhaven Bay. West of the intersection of Moreland Road. In Salvation Road. Where is the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road? Clashmore Street, Silver Road, Abolition Street, Moreland Road. So this one. West of the intersection, so. Somewhere around here, I guess. Find our way out of here. Which, that took a little bit more effort than I thought it would. And over there. I hope. So, we took the perk, which is sometimes you get double quest rewards. Which I don't like. I don't like the idea of I'm not going to get double quest rewards one time. And be like, well, this, this feels worthless now. But. Once we get... To the next level, we can get the guaranteed double quest rewards. I maybe I should have just gone for double quest rewards and not taking the extra ammo, but I wanted the extra ammo because, or the extra crafting materials because you know, seems like a good use of resources to have extra crafting materials. Like not having to leave a place and never come back, and just lose it on all those resources that we fought for. Hey, just punch that man. Ass. Eat shit. Can't tell me what to do. 
Okay, I, I helped fight for that man's life. And now I escape on a boat. I did stab that guy with the fucking axe. Whatever my weapon is. I think it was a shovel. I hit that man with a shovel. But like a sharp shovel. They got nicer boats in town. Fuck. Why am I riding along on this thing if there's like good old boats around? For shame. That's an ominous looking spire. I don't think I've noticed that giant spires sticking out of the ground before. It is a little concerning, I would say. Oh, it's behind a school bus, too. That's fun. Hi. You don't want to bump into the sickos. If you bump into the sickos, they'll start punching you. Which, I mean, that guy did start punching me too, but like, it was different. Okay. They say he lived west of this, so it might, he might be there. This might be his house. That's a fancy looking mirror. The residence of Sydney Stokes. Sure, fuck me up. I'm just happy that I figured out the, um, the kind of investigation mechanic that's kind of integral to this game. Because that was, like, a little confusing going into it from the last time. So, like, if I can't figure that out, it might be a problem. Mr. Stokes, the price for a separate burial for your mother, Martha Stokes, is 30 bullets. More can I give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources or manpower to satisfy. We must make the payment in two weeks or we'll have to inter your mother into a mass grave. Oh. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Yeah, I don't like those things running around. But I guess, you know, if I'm killing them and people can eat them, then I guess I'm doing a society a service. That's the kind of guy I am. I'm just always trying to help out others. Man, this guy's house is kind of fucking shitty. Like, I'm not trying to, like, place blame on him. Oh, he dead, too. Well, that's not good. Oh, also stabbed. Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting a shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it? Oh, hey. There you go. His mom? At long last... I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. Huh? The woman who took the mirror. There's something back here? It seems like there's something just past that wall. Oh, Ma. I killed him. What have I done? What in the world have I done? Well, you killed him. So I think if we can, like, follow the pattern of the... person walking around... Okay, so this is gonna open the door. away from the oh thank the gods i thought you were another monster who are you try selling nfts good idea that way we can destroy it and also then embarrass it at the same time sydney stokes sydney stokes i presume i i that's the right right do i do i know you don't think so i'm here about herbert glover i believe you know him or should i say knew him uh how is he here? I thought there was a dead body over there that was him. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. Just like the movie. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she She's our employer. 
Oh. I don't know her name or anything. She, she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. It happens. What was the job? What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Okay. I'm down. Where is the mirror? So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big bro out and she shifted him. Okay, so Phil is the dead guy over there. Now. Phil was the idea guy. I, I was. Oh, he's Irish? I thought he just was faking the accent for fun. Wouldn't it be a weird choice? Like, for like halfway through the sentence, he's like, and I was, uh, well, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do the voice anymore, man. I'm sorry. I'm not actually Irish. I just thought you'd think I'd be more cool if I was Irish. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Me like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I said describe her, don't roast her. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? Well, you saw what happened. I, I, I swear to K, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. yes, we saw that. Witness. I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just just let me walk. I'll let you go. Look, you might be a sap, but at least you're not a sap. I'll look the other way, but you better get scarce and fast. I think the guy he killed was kind of a racist, you're so I'll find this. I, you won't see me again, I swear. Here, take this. Thanks again. Couldn't care anymore. What, what do you want? I want whatever you were going to give me, but the game said no, you can't have it. Okay. Uh, we don't have. Do we have enough rags? Oh, we need two rags. We only have one rag. Okay, okay. That's the issue here. We already checked that bottle. Check this. Hmm. What's left for me to inspect here? Actually, did we get all the, um... No. We have not finished inspecting this location either. It's a bit of a hassle. Maybe if we go to the mine palace? And, okay. Casebook. This. Or is there not a mine palace for the other thing? So we can't investigate that lady just yet. We have to go back to Robert Throgmorton and then investigate her. Hmm. There's something else here I need to find. Like, I can't... I don't have all the pieces and I don't get the big bonus XP because I don't have all the pieces. But I just genuinely don't know what's left. Like, I appreciate the whole, like, investigation thing, but sometimes it's a little difficult to find what you need to find. Like, things don't clear themselves out. You would think that the, with the mind's eye thing, there'd be, like, some sort of, like, mechanic for, like, oh, hey, there's something you're missing over in this direction. Oh, hey. Martha Stokes? Okay. And that was all the evidence. We found it. There's a fun little picture of his dead mom. Cool. Okay. So we have to go back to Throgmorton. I do kind of want to go see if I can't find... Uh that last bit of evidence that we need from inside the other house because that's like 20% of a level in there but mainly I want to see if there's a uh, fast travel area over here that would make my life a lot easier any enemies in here? no? yes there are there's one big scary enemy 
the scariest enemy the game has to offer. I felt like when I walked in there, I was like, if there's gonna be an enemy here, it's gonna be the biggest one, right? Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. And then bam, there it was. Where are we going though? Can't find a fast travel point. And I don't like that. I'd really like if each of these little islands had like a fast travel location. That'd make my day a whole lot better. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Fight, Shut up. Missed. How about that? Extra, extra that, my man. Doesn't feel good, does it? The area's kind of big, though. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this large. I think this way... There's a hole in the fence. A hole in the fence could just be a problem. Also a hole in the fence over here. There's people randomly beating each other up. I think they need to chill out a bit. Is that anything? I'm in desperate need of stuff. What do we got? This is not the rags I need. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll take a boat up north a bit, just to see that like other island that's above us. Because we haven't been there yet. And there could be a fast travel point there that would just... It wouldn't make the lack of a fast travel point here better necessarily, but it would make things easier. We are already over here, so... Why not? Okay. It's a big scary fence. So I'm gonna say let's go a different direction. Wow. Wow. Thanks for the while, Lizard. How you doing? I think if we go there, we're gonna get our ass kicked. We still can't really handle, like, large groups of the bigger enemies. Uh. Oh, look at that. Look at a fucking sick drift. Like Dominic Toretto. If Dominic Toretto did boats. Is there a boat? Like... Because there was like a... Like, whenever there's like a movie that's successful, people make like... Versions of it. Like... Has there been like a boat heist movie? Because of like Dominic... Not Dominic Toretto. Fast and the Furious or like the Italian job? George. Mm. Oh yeah. I feel that. I mean, like, uh, how am I going to spend this day? This is the last bit of freedom I have before the week starts up again. This place have a Jesus fish on it. Hopefully. You can find some way to chill out or relax. I usually end up watching YouTube videos. I'm like... I don't watch YouTube videos a lot during the week. I'll be like, let me see what I want to watch... on, like, Sunday night. And then as the week goes on, I'll finish up the ones I started. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Pass it all point. Let's go back up over here. Go talk to Mr. Throgmorton. Finish up this part of the quest. See if we can't. You know. Okay. If we are less than 170 experience away from the next level, I will go up to the other guy, the place that we didn't find the last bit of evidence for. And then I will try and do that, because then we can get the guaranteed double quest rewards. Which I think also means double XP. So if it means double XP, then we're just fucking drowning in XP at this point. We're gonna level up to a thousand. We're gonna get everything. I wish it would give some sort of noise when it was like press any button to continue because I'm not paying that much attention. I'm taking the few seconds of loading to just be like, let my mind stop for a bit. Check my uh, knowledge skills. Okay, we are not close enough to it. We are very close, but we're not close enough to it. 
We have to like go kill like seven enemies and then go. Don't like how the door does that? Let me save before I uh, go talk to him. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Sure. Glover's dead. He was killed you don't by know a who man named oh, yeah, Sidney Stokes, who happened to be Glover was the art collector, and that Glover was one of the alone, robbers. Yet a partner, Phil O'Connell, didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is the mirror now? There it's all about the mirror the whole time. Some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Um... Oh, both of them are dead. I'll let this man live. If it's like Sydney's alive and he has to get reported, I'm going to say both of them are dead. Their employer decided to bump them off. Now, I hope that's not standard business practice in these parts. You've proven to be far more valuable to me alive than dead, Mr. Reed. You have I love being complimented. About in that regard. Reward. All right. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Here's a thousand XP. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Sure. Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm on not? it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest is so K Thulu. That's gonna be the big twist at the end. I think I said the last time and I don't think I'm wrong. What's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. I kinda like his whole like suit. Maybe we should bring back those like nice ass suits. Maybe those are already still around. Maybe I just don't have style. Maybe I should bring back style in my own life. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None who would outlive him. Records. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so we're cut. It. Take this key. Thank you. Okay, I got a knowledge point, six 12 gauge shells. That's pretty good. Okay. We can go and put a point into guaranteed double quest reward items. And now, we'll start putting points into killing enemies, which seems like a good idea at some point. Everything's on traps. I think getting high damage grenades, but also like, hmm. A lot of stuff here that could be pretty good. Do the looking glass. Oh, we gotta go look at Throgmorton Mandible thing. In loving memory, Albert Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, descendant of a robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oakmont Port, aged 25 years. We mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. The Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words and prayers sent by the citizens of Oakmont. Cool. Let me look through your house. Gonna look for clues. Gonna have a little treat. Just me and you. Play some of the detective games. I should have some sort of detective game song. Like, it's very not on brand for me to not have a song for detecting things. I really should I think Tiny Blue and I should play a Nancy Drew game sometime in the near future. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. We've not played one in a few months. I think this is the longest we've gone without playing one. But we just haven't done co-op cuties in like two weeks. And we're on the forest now, so it's going to be a bit before we do it. I think there's still a, a, quite a lot in the forest we have to do. It is on brand. I should get one of the fucking... I should get 
a detective hat. I should be that kind of guy. I should get... You know how they have gamer headsets with ears? Gamer headset with a fucking fedora on top of it? That'd be awful. That'd be the worst thing, right? Seems an ambitious expedition. Yeah. Like father, like son. Cool. I think really good at keeping this plant alive. Uh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp. But I guess that's the point. You guys got jokes. Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. What does that mean? <laughs> Eighteen ninety one, huh? Uh oh. Francis Thogborn's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious. Sadly underappreciated undertakings of 1891. He returned with numerous historical artifacts and valuable anthropological research on a newborn son, christened Robert. With a thorough fascinating cultural insights. Today, in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he's agreed to share some of those insights with us. Exclusive interview? I love that this kind of shows up on the side there. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Is that me? Am I... dead? 12-12-1894. Francis. Divorce is no simple matter these days. Never has been. My legal practice, you must clearly define the fault you shall present to the court. The most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. My impression that your first burn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health do sincerely hope that she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakman Asylum seems to be a very well known place. Regards, Chauncey. The man's divorced. And I think the person that we're hunting is his ex-wife. I guess, the Bethany in question. Could also be like Bethany's other child. That seems to be the indication I'm going. I think playable pianos are fun in video games, even though I can't play the piano. I love a good old playable piano. I like the wall decor. Is this where you bring girls back to? You got a very TikTok aesthetic. You do good on TikTok. You see some gamer lights in there. Tell me about Bethany. Some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon. I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. But what if she stole the thing? Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father had never made his findings public. I have no idea what this... Shame, of course. Remember this guy's name? I don't remember any of his family's name at this point. On its head. Yeah, I can see that. Hi. Have a good day. He didn't say have a good day back. He basically told me to eat shit. Detective vision. Okay, so there's something back here. Right? Or this is a separate entrance over here. Throgborn Manor. Weird. Don't like that ominous TikToking. But I guess that's all TikToking, am I right, y'all? Am I right, gamers? I've already made one TikTok joke. Can I make two? Hmm. Curious. I don't like I have a lead to another location here. Go to the casebook. The looking glass. I guess we go to Oakmont Asylum. 
Is that a place on the map? Study the manor, rob a clear make a key, pitch up a mirror, stolen mirror. Could also be in like some sort of records about Oakmont Asylum. Because we are not in Oakmont right now, are we? We're in Old Grove. Read Heights, Advent. I think Oakmont is this whole place. I think this is the town of Old Mont, or Oakmont. So we'll have to figure out where Oakmont Asylum is. That's where Batman fought all those people. I made that whole genre of games. I think Jamie Hayden's playing through them right now. Anything here? What's this? Uh huh. That kid looks a little familiar. Aha! Uh -huh. Got all the evidence. I love that for me. Now, gotta talk to him about this too. I'm not in the mood for chit. Oh yeah. I guess not. Guess I can't. Um, let's look at our casebook. Torn photo. Uh, I think he has a sister. But we're gonna find her. A letter that mentions Oakma Asylum. Um, hmm. This is the... Not the archives. This stuff? Do you tell me? No. This. Oakmont University Library. Oakmont City Hall. Those two places might have recollections. I also maybe the hospital. That's my guess as of right now. I am gonna go. Oh wait, ship. Location not marked on the map anymore. Hmm. I do like this song. It is really repetitive, but it's very tone setting. Very much reminds me of the Disco Elysium soundtrack. I've been trying to learn how to draw portraits in the style of Disco Elysium. That's a very green bag. There's like pop of color in this fucking bleak landscape. Um, and I'm I've been having some I've been having a time with it. Uh, not particularly great at it just yet, but. These things come with time and experience. Uh, particularly, I'm bad at. I like drawing, the um. Like the backgrounds, like the the backgrounds for the Discolizium portraits are very, kind of a unique style. Um. But like, I'm bad at drawing the actual like figures of the person. So all the stuff here is gone, it seems. Like, the statues that were here are gone now, too. So I guess that's not like a investigation point. So it gets just lost on the XP, which is fine. Um. But I feel like I should just, like, go and see someone else's process for kind of creating something like that. And then... I'll have like a good idea of how best to approach it because that's kind of the way I've learned things normally is I find a method and I go and like teach I don't like learn the method I don't like teach myself the method I watch someone else do it and I kind of emulate them as I emulate them I break that into like component parts of like this is how this is done this is what this means every kind of like step of the process on the way there I kind of look towards those things and eventually as I kind of learn how this one thing is done this one way, I start to break it. And I use that as like a method to like learn how things are done. Thank you for the two bits, AO Help. Appreciate it. Um And then eventually. Once I break things down, like, oh I broke it this way and this is why it doesn't work this way anymore. It like helps me learn how to fight a man with a harmonica. Fight enemy with harmonica. Um, 
It is the library. This is the lady with the sewn up mouth, so if you have a specific thing about people with sewn up mouths, um, watch yourself. Okay. Is there an archive here? I think there was. Here we go. Charles Reed, Serious City of Oakmont. Hello, Right Q. The world's cutest cute cute cutesy cutest gamer. The world's cutest cutesy cutest gamer. That's me. How you doing, Right uh, Right you just did a charity event for MG Kelly and Jared. If you want to link it here, feel free to. But the GoFundMe. You are willing to go send some money over to two people who deserve it. Get them some money. Help them get some ACL surgery for their dog. George, hey cutie. I need to figure out where the thing is. Robert Creswell, House Brawl, Contract on Albert. This is a different thing. Murdered, loose paper so far. This is all evidence I don't need right now. This one's testimony. Huh. No, I want a different case. How do I pick a different case? Can I only do cases from here? Can I do the quid pro quo stuff? No, I don't want that. I want to do this. No, 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 because I definitely did the other one. Oakmont Asylum. Thank you, Rich Q. Definitely go check it out if you have some extra money. Donate for a good cause. Good people. Uh, okay, so this is not gonna have that. So I should go to the um, city records. I feel like that should probably tell me something more so about, you know, thingy, the where the asylum is. That looks like an asylum. Oh, absolutely not. Don't worry about it. There's not like a wind here. So I'm curious as to how the flag is standing so still and so stiff. Thank you so much for the BuzzFeed quiz, AO Hell. Weird sandwich mythical creature quiz. We'll do that once I figure out what oh, thing I'm missing. Me, newcomer. Okay, don't be rude. Damn. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, once you find where the next step of this thing is. Stolen mirror. Picture of a mirror. Francis to study. Public correspondence. Oakmont Asylum. Okay. Enterprises. Period. What has happened? 19th century. Citizen records. Legal documents. Occupation. No. Uh, Advent. Grimhaven Bay. Cover set. Hmm. Okay, let's take this out. Subjects. Look at citizens. Period, 19th century. This is a legal matter? Legal documents. Interesting. Firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt to below Bethany's health. Citizen records? Occupation? No. Shells? Station Harbor? Stolen mirror is not that. It's gotta be this private correspondence. Hmm. But what am I missing? I feel like the stuff I have here is right, which is the issue. We get rid of 19th century, we'll do citizen records. It's not gonna be this because there's no like a reason to associate this with that. Subjects, 
Could be the, the death of the newborn. 19th century citizen records enterprises. No. Newcomers? Other? No. Since legal documents, occupation. Let me go back to legal documents here and let's switch this up. Okay, let's go try a different place. Hospital, I believe, is probably the next place, I think. So, I feel like the hospital and like a asylum are gonna be different. Maybe that's just my hot take. Sherlock Holmes, because they made they made the thing. Mystery of the Creepy Watson. This is honestly kind of funny. Me giggle. Let's go over here. Side central. The green screen's about to fall apart. Stretch. Stretch. The case of the Bofa Delito. Delido? Bofa Bofa Delido? I, I understand Bofa is the important thing there. I'm like, what is Delido? The musician? I don't understand why this happens. Like this kind of weird loading zone. Does everything go stark? Subjects. Patience. Okay, we don't have this period in here, which is the thing. Morgue. 1910 to 1914? Asylum. Surgery. Therapy. This, this date is the issue. We do here. Salvation. Old Grove. Grim Haven. Carverside Advent. Hmm. I've been bamboozled. Damn. I'm just gonna Google this. I'm just gonna look it up. Oh, I don't mind. I'll do it. Where do I, where do I go next? Where is the um, main case? Side cases. What is this one called? This one's on the other side of the mirror, I want to say. Okay. Okay, so there is just a mental hospital that I should already have the location of right there. I was not aware this was here. I should have gone here the first time. Apparently that's been marked on my map the whole time. I'm furious. Let me go over there and we'll do that BuzzFeed quiz. Don't ever fucking look at me like that again, my man. I'll beat you up. I'm real sick of when it comes to NPCs in video games. I want to fight all of them. I will say one of my uh, least favorite trends of the past few years has been uh, the people who say that they are the main character and the people who refer to like other people as NPCs. I don't like it. It just makes me irrationally mad. I'm like, shut up. Stop doing this. There's something very obnoxious about it. Uh, I think the thing that really kind of set me off on it was not like any of the bad stuff. There's like a song out there where like the singer, I was about to say the character from the fucking song is like, just look at my silhouette. It's giving main character energy. And like they're not, it's not rhythmic. It has no flow to it. It sounds bad. It is a bad song. It is weird. It is very like, dismissive of people and it's like obnoxious and I, it's like all fun and jokes for people and I just don't like it. I understand no one thinks they're actually the main there's some people who think they're the main character Jacob Novak and people like that um I don't like it I'm looking for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton although we do have a Bethany she looks like oh, one of the most normal people we've seen in this game. She's missing, and not on one of her usual walks. Missing? You mean she broke out? Yes, knocked an utterly <sighs> out cold. 
She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. She fucking decked someone. Usual walks. You let patients leave the building? Yeah. Oh, Bethany was harmless, and she always came back. This time, well, I've never known her to be like that. Rich. I've been trying to figure out a good time to do, like, yoga. Cause Any idea where she went? It just never feels like no. a good time I like doing like my little walk-run she things. Odd. I think I'm gonna try and waking up early tomorrow. Muttering and to herself doing like and one of those 20 minute yoga with Adrian videos. Just to get myself in the habit wall. again. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. People are just really for letting us come through. Here's the key. But do watch out for broken glass. Okay. Bye. Uh, save here. Get that. And then let's go grab this BuzzFeed quiz. If you want to play along at home. Here's the quiz. Move OBS. Move Firefox. Get rid of Twitter.com. Uh... Put on a fucking sick track in the background. Uh, here we go. Classic. Issue. What mythical creature are you based on the weird sandwich you make? Listen, it's about to get really weird. Let me guess. Ass is gonna be one of these options. They're gonna be like, hey, do you wanna have some ass on your sandwich? A little bit of ass to eat between two slices of bread? I know these sickos. I know these Noah J. Beard 123s. I figured out their whole thing. First pick your bread. Cookies. That could be an ice cream sandwich. Don't necessarily have a problem with that. Don't want one right now. Seaweed. Okay, I can get down with the seaweed wrap. Ass time. One of the options is gonna be two cheeks. Two spread cheeks. Gonna put my, some ham and cheese in there. Graham cacker. Eh. I don't like it. The thing with graham crackers is when you take a bite out of it, the whole thing shatters. The whole thing just falls apart. I don't want that. I, don't want that. I also don't want chocolate. Why are three of them like sweet? A lot of sweet options here. I'm gonna go with the seaweed. Like I've eaten seaweed. I don't have a problem with seaweed. It's gonna not be like a structurally sound sandwich, kind of like the graham cracker, but it's gonna be like better than the other ones. Cause chocolate's gonna melt in your hand. Cookie. That's an ice cream sandwich. I don't want an ice cream sandwich right now. First topping, chips, ice cubes, lots of meat or crickets. Go with chips. I don't necessarily have a problem with eating bugs. I wouldn't eat bugs. I'm a vegetarian. But like, we're gonna have to eat crickets at some point. If you're if you're someone who eats meat, you're getting your protein from meat. We live in the lifetime where a you're, you're gonna run out of water. Uh, B you're gonna start eating all crickets. And they're not bad. People eat crickets. It's not weird. Ice cubes, a little strange. Um, also a bad picture of ice cube. Chips. Chips come on sandwiches. Second. Jelly beans, frozen orange juice, broccoli, cheese times 1,000, or 1 million. 10 million. What does that mean? What are we, what are we doing here? I'm gonna go with broccoli because I don't have a problem with broccoli on a sandwich. Uh, when I was a freshman in college, I would go to the gym and then I'd go to like this kind of off-brand subway place we got. And I'd get a, I would get broccoli in a wrap. It'd be a nice little wrap. And I'd be like, I'm eating so healthy. It was a lot of carbs, but it was, it was me. It was living my life. Broccoli. Sauce. Ketchup. Mayo. Cake frosting. Something spicy. I'm not, I don't like ketchup. Ketchup is disgusting. I would prefer cake frosting to ketchup to be 100% on this sandwich. Uh, I think cake frosting is less sugary than ketchup, to be uh, to honestly. I might, I'm not even joking that much. Depends on the cake frosting, but it also depends on the ketchup. Uh, mayo is only good on hot sandwiches. I would never eat mayo on a cold sandwich. It's gross on a cold sandwich. I don't like mayo on a cold sandwich. The sandwich must be hot. Uh, something spicy, that's already going to be on that sandwich. I'd be adding it to the end of the sandwich if you didn't give it the option to me. Snack on the side, fries, ice cream, bubblegum almonds? No, we're already eating healthy enough here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fries. There's broccoli on the sandwich. I don't want almonds. Get some fries. Get some potatoes. Get some carbs in there, you know. Finally, add a random food: peanut butter, 
octopus, nothing, or eggs. Okay, so we have spicy, we have broccoli, we've got chips, and seaweed. Um... I guess eggs doesn't make, like, putting nothing there, I feel like the sandwich is already lacking a little bit of substance. I don't necessarily want peanut butter. I don't, I don't think peanut butter would be bad. I think peanut butter would be fine on this nightmare sandwich you've made. But I think eggs would be pretty good. Because if we're doing lettuce like a wrap, because I'm not, I'm not putting two pieces of sea, not lettuce, seaweed. Like that, I'm going to wrap it up. They're going to say it's a sandwich, I'm making a wrap, a wrap sandwich. Just cut it in half, still call it a wrap. Uh, eggs would be good. Depends on the kind of egg. I'd prefer scrambled egg, but this is the sunny side up. Yeah, we're gonna go with eggs. I'm a dragon. Dragging these nuts across my own face. Fierce fun and fire. You never step down and love a good joke. People always warm up to you and you're wild about the outdoors. Nice. Thank you so much for the BuzzFeed quiz, AO Hell. I appreciate it. Uh ba -ba. I try to take a picture of this guy's face in the game. Fucking froze. It got really slow there. Pum 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 pum. Pum 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 pum. Who's he? Hi. Do you see it? That guy? Haven't you seen the beast? This creepy little baby? I have no idea what we're talking about, y'all. I hate not being included in things, including this whatever this beast is. Uh, can I go down here? This is probably not the way to go, but it's the way I am going. Indecent poster. All right. Okay. Sure. Live your dreams. Look, it's not the weirdest thing I've had to get in a video game before. A yeah, fucking French magazine from the Man and Harvester. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. This man's always looking at the positives, and I love that for him. Even when he's like pulling out his little thing. Also, we should be stepping on this glass like this. Young Hammond Throgmorton, Francis Throgmorton's firstborn, has been pronounced dead. Mortally injured in a mysterious accident during a family out of the day. Little Hammond could not be revived, despite his doctor's best efforts. The funeral will be held later this week, with only family and close friends attending. This dark and tragic hour, we are trying to remain grateful for all we have, including baby Robert. She had Francis Throgmorton as my sole remaining heir, and will do all I can to protect him. Interesting. Well, I do. I do for my dear Hammond. I cannot forget that. Shame me for thinking that reparate squint had more common sense than greed in him. He got the mirror. I don't care how he did it. But when the first time came for the exchange, he wanted more. So much more he had the gall to threaten me. I did find a new buyer. What's done is done. No one has the right to become between a mother and her child. Okay, so this is one of those port calluses into the, the, the hell zone. The nightmare world. I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Did you get really far? Someone had a field day to facing these. It happens. Sometimes you gotta find what you can. Is this another drawer over here? Okay, no, that was the same one. I don't like how fish eyed the lenses get when I use my detective powers. The blood's almost dry. There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. Let's take that with us. There's always a good reason to have enough dope to knock out a horse. In my honest opinion. Stop right there. Oh. Okay, so she knocked that man down. You no longer have any power over me. 
I have found my Hammond. He's shown me the way. Okay. In Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. Have I been there? The answers have been there since last century. Time to piece this one together. Well, once again, it's pretty much in a normal order. I think only one of them has not been like this. Right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. Glover? Next stop. Noted N64 protagonist. Works. Can't believe we did it. We found Glover's new video game. He makes a guest appearance here as an eldritch god. I love that for him. Of note, I don't think we have all the evidence here. We're gonna go do a little run around. Call myself the Blues Travelers Band. I'll give myself the run around. Haven't you seen the beast? No. I watched Kingdom Hearts 2, where he shows up. He's also in Kingdom Hearts 1. I think he's in Kingdom Hearts 3, too. I don't know. Bethany and Mirrors. Seems that Bethany had a thing for mirrors. You know anything about that? Oh, yes. Poor soul. She was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. She talked to him every day. I see. Okay. Bye. I like how we just say bye like that. Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. Okay, dude. In all the chaos, there's a cosmos and all this order. A secret order. Nice. Pop this door open. How are y'all doing? Hey, I still hear those voices. Okay. Water me. Don't just stare at my leaves. Let's play in this night. It will begin again. What is down comes up. It's so not a good bathroom. Someone should be cleaning this place. Probably gonna report this place. They're not taking care of their patients here. I'm not what happens happened to me. I am what I chose to become. The Joker. Eventually you'll end up where you are meant to be. You'll be doing what you're supposed to do. That's probably not always true, my man. Pop this door open. See if we can't find some more of this little mystery going on. It all depends on how we look at things. Go. Bring back here. Hmm. Do something. We've not found, um any rags at all? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. What can I do for you? I'm looking for clues. Have you seen any clues around here lately, sir? This. Back to this room. This is the staircase we came up in. Okay. Nothing here. We can go down yeah. this way. Hmm. Makes me think that if there's going to be another clue, it's going to be down here. Towards what's-her-face. How does she get back to her office? Every day. You just fucking fall? <laughs> Dive through the fucking desk? Ma'am, please. Right, maybe she moves and then let her co-workers trap her there afterwards. Because they're probably bad co-workers. That makes sense to me. Anything else I'm forgetting here? Okay, I already did this one. I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. Sounds like lyrics to a Rihanna song, specifically the one that where she says, "Bum bum bum bum, bam bam bum." Is that Rihanna? I think that's Rihanna. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. Hmm. The blood's almost dry. Horse morphine.
Or I guess maybe it's just normal morphine, but there's enough for a horse in there. Anything else here? No? Alright. I'd prefer to get that extra XP, but... It's gonna be this much of an issue to try and find everything. It's not worth it. Just be losing so much time. Yeah. Do need to get to... Glassworks and Salvation Harbor. It's gonna be up here. I don't know which one of these is gonna be the Glassworks place. Okay, all right. This is the shells. Is this it? That's a dock. This looks like it might be either a manor house or a place. Where can we teleport to to make this easier? Probably here, or actually up. Here might be the best way to be. Okay. Look it up here. To our boat. Sail on back. Hmm. And depending on the quality of this case, we might just mainline story. Doing all the optional stuff might take a while. But who's to say? Um, it's the right way. Hello there, sir. Enjoy your rat. Always have a good meal. Live your dreams. Sometimes. Sometimes the game's just like, actually, your car doesn't go. Let's get a pop a can. Enjoy the SMR. I just sat there for 10 seconds workshopping a joke about pop filters. But I was drinking a LaCroix. Okay. Where do we want to go? We want to go here. I'll try and find this glassworks factory. I don't like this game not telling me like the locations of things anymore. It used to be like, hey, it's, it's here. Look for, like, at least look on the map in between these two locations, you'll find it. This time it's just like, yeah, you gotta find a glassworks factory. Somewhere in this area. Enjoy searching, bucko. Where am I? Yeah, this. Okay. We wanna go down and then right all way down right there. Unless this is the glassworks factory. What is this? It's just a man's boat? Did I just rob this man? I'm fine with that, I guess. Did I just fall in the water? I just fell in the water. Okay. And the game just didn't like that. It said, why did your frame rate drop to no frame for the next four minutes? Because you fell in the water. 
that's our punishment. We lower the frame rate. Some games make you take damage, some games put you into stamina mode, some games just slow you down. Reset your position. This game's like no more frame rate for you. It's a harsh but fitting punishment. I will not try and enter the water ever again now. Get a little bump there on the red. I don't know what's going on with this music. Also, am I walking into a danger zone? I am walking into a danger zone. Hopefully I'm going to be walking out of a danger zone really fast now, too. What's up, gamers? Goodbye. Okay. This is not a glass factory. This is a fucking church. They don't make glass here. They make class war. That's right, that's my hot take. Um, they're not a factory that's gonna be there. Could be this spot? Somewhere up here? I don't know. It's definitely not on this side. We'll just see if we can make it to the outer edge. I think there's a pathway between those two spots, too, so... Didn't necessarily matter which one we get to first. Excuse me. This game feels like wandering around. That man's lamp looked like an icon I was supposed to interact with. I don't know how I necessarily feel about that. Like when it's the locations where you can put it between two locate like, hey, it should be around here somewhere. I like that. And it's this one where it's like, hey, there's a glassworks factory somewhere in this part of town. Go find it. That's different. I don't like that as much. Jerry, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, it's true, I own several ships. None of them can take you and your sister to the sea. Nevertheless, there are other captains in the sport who may agree with your plan. Come to the port. I'm into the entrance. I'll introduce you to some friends. Yours, Vince. This is not anywhere that I need to be. Dear Jamie. My test suggests that in many ways your symptoms resemble the so-called Innsmouth Syndrome. Your case is a difficult one, but signs may help you to fight this illness. Come by again. I'll try a free therapy based on the experimental dewarming medicine I've invented. This is a result of helminth infested from a raw, poorly cooked fisk. Consider yours. P. Grant, M.D. Is door open? It does. I wonder if this is like a side quest I already have. There's a lot of information here. Eating fisk affects my skin a lot. Its elegant paleness has changed to an ugly greenish color. I thought my mirror was spoiled by damp, but it's not. The ball saw my bot didn't help. I can't sleep now. What if I'll become green, like a seaweed? Those nasty corals will grow on me. Jeremy's caught a cold. I'm so afraid he'll lose the job. He went to the doctor and wears his ugly scarlet scarf even while sleeping. Poor Jeremy. The sheets are so dry that I can't sleep. Maybe a short walk will help. The water tonight is so calm. I want to touch it. Jamie's so busy with work, all I can swim as much as I want. And all I want is to be in the water. Sunken Flat. It's my favorite Rascal Flats cover band. They only use old-timey maritime instruments for their music. It's bad. <laughs> Goes that way. Okay, but that's back to where I was before. 
Is it where I came from before? I don't actually know. Hmm. I came from the other angle, but I guess I didn't. Right? Because there's a door right here that I didn't go through? Found any evidence down here, which makes me think there must be some evidence down here, because we're not having anything down here at all. I didn't see anything on my little tour. Hmm. What's the place on the map now? Nothing. Cool. Back on out. Keep going this way. If we can't find this glass factory around here. You folks know where a glass factory is? It's clear water. That's nothing. That's not like a sign or anything. Um... This is the shipyard. I imagine a factory would be close to the shipyard, right? Hmm. Because A, they could dump all their fucking chemicals in the water because it's the 1920s. Or they could dump all their chemicals in the water because it's the United States. Or it's any country. We live in psycho times. I saw the fucking mystery of this place and I couldn't even get the reward. Damn, this sucks. Summer. Sorry. You saw me go in there to fucking solve a mystery. You be mad at me when I come out. Mad the mystery didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, I'm just gonna look where the fuck is this glass factory. Why would I go back to... Hmm. This little thing I found is like, hey, go back to City Hall. But, supposedly, the glass factory is right here, right next to me. So let's see if we can't find it there. Can't just go in here? That door won't budge. Nope. Eat shit, me. How fucking dare I expect. You know, there's also not like a fucking fast travel point around here. Oh my god. Here's the thing. If I die, I'll get warped over some place. I don't want to die. Ugh. Let's see if we can't find a fast travel point around here. Make my life easier. Like the fit, dude. Okay. We went left here already. Go over here now. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one right there. Your boy did it, gamers. Solved the mystery of where that fucking thing was. Bring me to City Hall. City Hall? City Hall. Getting these fast travel points has made my life so much better. I just make this game so much easier to deal with. 
Get out and just walking for a long period of time. Not knowing where to go. You walk for a short period of time, not knowing where to go. Also, this little the boat mechanic is neat, given the context of the world, but is also not super great. No. Randall Glass works in Salvation Harbor Enterprises. Uh, legal documents? Salvation Harbor. No. After the flood. Is that? Oh, there we go. Project Gontal Randall, address Southern Salvation Harbor, Skipper Road between L Street and Calismore Street. I know where that is. I mean, I know where it is because it's not only on the map. But. I know where it is because I was also just there 20 seconds ago. Walked out the wrong direction, didn't I? It's embarrassing. I gotta say, I kinda want that man's backpack. Then I realize I have a backpack. Just not particularly useful. Okay. Here. And down south. The land of the pine. Thumb my way down to North Carolina. Pray to God, I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking them dogwood, something flowers. I'm praying to rally that I'll see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama. Like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama. Any way you feel. Hey. Mama, rock me. Rock me, mama. Like the wind of the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey. Mama, rock me. That song is good. People talk shit in a lot of songs because it's popular. But it's good. Like, you get a whole fucking group of people singing that song at the same time. It's classic. An absolute classic. Fuck are you? Really the cat jammiest of moments. Uh, right here. I want to break this door down. Okay. Enemy. What's up, gamer? Anyone else? Anyone else? No? Okay. Two shell cases? That's just some disintegrating. It's wet down here. Okay. Oh, Wasted a bullet on that. But it's fine. I'm not screaming. That invisibility did not work out for you, buddy. I'm sorry. I have to switch the revolver, though, if we're going to run into those guys. Darwin? No. Cool. Uh, let me just make some more. Bullets, because we're pretty close to that. I should also see. We still don't have any new rags. We've not found more rags yet. Those are like essential for bomb making. So I don't want to throw a bomb yet in case I run into like a big guy I have to kill. I think the bomb is the best piece of equipment Looks I have. Like this workbench was used for making frames. Oh, that's workbench. Like this workbench was used for making frames. The like glasses. Interested. Real interested. The door won't budge. A human face. Hold up, I'll unlock the door. Oh, that was weird. Been like that. I guess you're the reason that beast in the basement went quiet. I don't know how to thank you, mister. You're welcome. Well, for a start, have you seen an old lady with a mirror around here? Huh. Old Bethany? Of course. She got locked in our storage downstairs when the beasts attacked. 
I got a spare key. Please let her out. And feel free to take any supplies you want. You saved our lives. All in a day's work. I'll do that. Thanks. Gonna take so much shit from these guys. They're gonna have to fucking leave. This is my house now. Yeah. Do all mirror makers look this shifty? Mm hmm. Are they on him? No. Seemed like he would have something like that. Oh, nice work. It looks like the craftsman's gone out of business, though. Too bad. Who knew that so much planning went into mirrors? I mean, I mean, that makes sense. They hide. They hide underwater. Oh, this used to be an in the okay pools, place. To in the puddles. Is this, is this town got a shit? Is that what you're about to tell me, man? I wonder where it could have been. The monsters, the flood, the people. They're all not great. Oop. Hey. Oh, that's a scary looking fucking mirror. Did she go into the mirror zone? Never thought the city would surprise me, but Francis Throgmorton did just that. Being the way for his preferred heir by getting rid of the other. Man also believes he did his son a favor by stuffing him in the mirror ways. They want to kill him, as if that's any worse than what he did. Me? I'm just happy to share what I know. Should Francis want to bring his son back, hopefully he can find the kid a new body to live in. Now with this wretched city. Time to move somewhere warmer. Okay. But where is Bethany? Someone's been stocking up. His house? Randall's house? Hold on, Hammond. We're almost there. Do I gotta fucking find out where Randall lives now, too? God, the fish eye on this is bad. It's really not good. Okay. We don't even have all the key evidence here. What are we missing? Here we go. Warrant to enter and search the premises of the Randall Glass Work Salvation Harbor to investigate reincurring complaints of suspicious activity at night. Terry get the suspect, Gaunter Randall. Okay. Someone's been stocking up. Got key evidence. We're missing something. I have no idea what it could possibly be. kind of the issue here is that while I want to search for the other evidence there's no like indication of where the stuff could possibly be and that serves as the problem because I don't want to just sit here and waste time I also don't want to like go and just find the answers to stuff that doesn't feel satisfying in the same way We lost out on quite a bit of XP at this point. Like we'd have most of a level. It looks like this workbench was used for making frames. One of these guys know something about him? No. Guys, got anything going on? this thing. That's bad. Let me see on my casebook. Glassworks did that. This Randall's diary. Mirror. Terry gets us like gone to Randall. Okay. Let's go to the police archives then.
I feel like this is gonna be some sort of mechanic I'm not like familiar with that I need in order to like get that last clue. And I feel like that must be what's happening. Might have been like mechanic that interested me last time and it just hasn't come up yet. But if it's not the detective vision, I have no idea what it could be. I've been using the detective vision quite a lot. What's fucking warp gamers? Go find my enemies. The police. See if they can't help me out a little bit. You know? Hot. Excuse me. The game says fleeing is like the opportunity to use, but I feel like a lot of times the game's like, you've gotta fight everything in this area. I think once I start doing higher damage with those other skills, I'll make, you know, playing less of a necessary option. Crimes, what was this? Search warrant. Here, purposes of Randall Glassworks. Misdemeanors, complaints. Subjects? Suspects? Uh, Randall Glassworks in Salvation Harbor. There we go. Elias Davis Miles Mirror Maker. Uh, residents fled the city last known location Oakmont Mass, Northern Old Grove, corner of Wind Half Avenue and Gold Bridge Road. Putting public order supervised subversive behavior counterfeiting. Interesting. Okay. We gotta go to his house now. Uh, Northern Old Grove. Or Windhaf Avenue and Goldberg Road. Okay. It's right here. It's not too bad. Am I lost? I am lost. This way? This way. I was hoping this quit like this quest is going on for a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be much shorter. But there's a potential that will go into like the mirror world and that'd be kinda cool. Kinda curious to see like how many things this game like that has kits. Makes me think of like uh, the Painted Realm from Oblivion or things like that and like the, the Skyrim, not Skyrim games, the Elder Scrolls games where you get to travel to a different loan for a little bit. It's kind of interesting like that. Those are always cool. I always like when like, oh, we're going to go to a different part of the map. Kind of like um the, 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 the Fade in Dragon Age. The best part of that game. I mean, kind of unsettling. I don't think his face rendered in properly until we got pretty close to him. Can we get there? That's a little bit over. I do kind of wish we had a little bit faster movement speed out here. Also, because he's got a silly run. You good? Probably not. Is a gas station? Can I get some snacks? The Maharibo Cola Gummies. The best gas station candy. I do like gummy sharks though. Every time I have gummy sharks though, one of them has been like weirdly hard and I didn't like it. Something going on in our world of gummy sharks are too hard, you know. Hey, you know where the mirror maker lives? I'm trying to find his house. Uh, this one. Where the fuck is this? This is like Throgmorton Manor. It's like the same asset. Whose house am I in? Far Knock Life, thank you so much for the resub. Yeah, the city is not sunk yet. We've done, we've been down to the water. 
but we've not we've not sank the city. But thank you so much for the 15 months. Enjoy my face. It's a good one. It's a good face. Though I have been getting a lot of photos taken of me, people who are shorter than me. I found out that I'm taller than I think I am, because my brother's like six one, and he insists that I'm taller than him. And I have no idea why he keeps thinking that I'm taller than him. I don't think I'm tall than him. God, I fucking love that nightmare mode. It's one of the best things I've ever invented. I didn't even play Majora's Mask for that long. I should really just pop into random people playing Majora's Mask and be like, post that emote and they're like, oh, you must be a big fan of Majora's Mask. I'm like, I liked it. I'm not like a huge fan of it. It's not like integral to my being. I just thought that emote would be neat. I can't find this fucking house. I'm furious. If you're a man who makes mirrors for a living, should your house not be constructed entirely of mirrors? Is that so much to ask for? Yeah. Sometimes it's just neat to have a reference to something. Here we go. Mirror maker's house? Yes. Little treat. A treat for me. Hi Emma, how you doing? We are doing some investigating right now. Oh. Investigate that. 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 That's called good detective work, gamers. Didn't learn fucking single thing. These have been here a while. Okay. I'm gonna fucking roast them. Hmm. This feels like there's like a secret here. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to go measure my own height to figure out how tall I am. I'll do that after stream. How tall am I? I have no idea. Also don't know where I find measuring tape. here. Nothing there. Nope. And the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations. Honestly, that sounds fun as hell. I've never gone camping because I never want to be somewhere that doesn't have a working mirrors uh, toiletry. Over many decades. Uh, but hopefully you had a great time. And you just gotta get over that residual sickness. Looks like everybody had some stuff going on this weekend. I can't carry any more pistol bullets. This fucking sucks. Somebody's been doing their homework. Go to cons, we'll have family over. Go we'll blowing up big old balloon houses for fun. Takes all sorts. But hopefully you had a good camping trip. I think if I were ever go camping, I'd want to go to a cabin. I feel like a cabin in the woods. Maybe a good time. B. Yeah, there we go. Found it. Can't fucking deceive me forever. Oosh. Never washed them at the campsite? That's good. Hello. What's going on here, gamers? Life can be cruel. Okay, that's a small dead child. Would have made a better father proud. But all right. Is this anything? One of these like stacks of boxes turned out to be like a thing that disappeared and then became something else. What the? No, my head. Uh, damn it. I can't. I can't. Okay. That's not great. Oh, these are ghosts. They're not even worth XP.
Can I interact with this again? No, it's just draining my sanity being next to it. Like, we haven't done everything we need to here. Oh. Activision? Here we go. Oh! Hey! Hey, let me out! Okay. I don't know how I'm going to help that man, but problem for the future. The very near future, but the future nonetheless. There's an average mirror. It's the funhouse mirror. Do you not have cool mirrors like that? This is just outside to the boring zone. This. Francis Throgmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again the most eligible bachelor. Boys' court hearing took place this Tuesday. The press were allowed in the courtroom, but the results were made public immediately after the ruling. Bethany Throgmorton deteriorating mental health was deemed sufficient reason to terminate the couple's marriage. With enough mourning, and said Francis while exiting the courtroom, our son Hammond's death was a tragedy, but we must stay strong. It's a pity Bethany could not. That's kind of shitty, but all right. I mean, this whole thing's been shitty. He had his own son killed because he didn't think he'd be a good enough heir. All right. I guess he didn't have his son killed, he had his son sent to the mirror world. The mirror works? Whatever the fuck it was. Still, not great. This feels like it should open up. Like, this feels like a not real wall. But I think that's because these are reused assets. And so. His manor into a museum of the biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont. Including Master Randall's finest creations. Mirror as mirror? I can, I can see that. Somebody's been doing their homework. Okay. A simple warning spell can be created through the application of sympathetic magic to establish an accord that affects an entity. One must find a similar entity that has a powerful bond with the other. Can't take that. Now we all got our weird things we pronounce. I think mine's... Havarti? Haverty? Haverty cheese? It's one of them. I, Whichever one is the wrong one, is the way I pronounce it. I've been roasted about it for years. No one's let me live my life eating my Havarti cheese. Haverty cheese? I don't remember. Whatever way. I'm, I'm right, and I will defy society for as long as I possibly can. I feel like I should do something with the scary mirror, but looking at the scary mirror, it makes my, um... My, hey, just stop getting scared meter go down. And so I don't feel like I should look at the scary mirror. Hmm. Anything else down here? I keep saying that. I think I get it, but like. Hey! Hey, let me out! I don't know how to do that, sir. Do my sanity decline to like a significant enough point? scary. Now you punch in the fucking mouth. Well, it's like not the scary you kind of expect from this. Like, if I'm playing a scary game, getting punched in the face is not like the kind of scares I was expecting. Okay. I, I gotta find out where this thing is.
Okay. So we've got to go up a floor? Back to where those letters were, it seems. I thought I had done this, but I feel like I was wrong. Here we go. Oof. Took a big hit there. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? A miniature coffin store. Where does one find a miniature coffin like this? Hmm. Okay, so that wasn't it. Oh, here we go. As long as this mirror stays whole, you will be safe, baby boy. Safe while I find a way to free you. Cool. Excuse me. Where's the next part of this? Do I have to walk downstairs? That's a bit of a hassle. Maybe on the top floor there'll be another node. These things are usually three of them. Kind of imagine the fourth one showing up, but like. There we go. There it is. This. These rights. They might buy me time. Time to piece this one together. I think this is two. I think the one on the bottom floor is one. Then the middle floor is three. Then that one up top is two. Which means it's obnoxious because we can't order them like such. You have to go one, two, three. Like you can't go set that one to two right now. I will get you out, Hammond. There has to be a way. This means we have to run up and down these stairs for like 20 minutes. This mirror stays hasn't whole, flashed green yet, which means I could safe, be wrong. Baby boy, I don't really safe know. while I find a way to free you. There you go. Bethany set up some sort of barrier to buy time while she tries to free Hammond. I could remove it by destroying her ritual mirror. Why would I destroy that? I'd be like killing a kid. What's our, what's our options here? What do we have to do? Set a ritual with the hand mirror to keep the spell. I must smash it to lift the barrier. Oh, I guess he wants to be let out. Do I have to go break the mirror downstairs? No? Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. It makes more sense, I mean, like, from a gameplay, like, interaction, like, smashing the larger mirror makes more sense. But I thought I had to smash the smaller mirror. So how do I smash the mirror? Do I have to shoot it with my gun? That's a whole bullet out of this bend. And bullets are money.
I guess I can throw this brick. Shoot it. That was a little silly. I guess let's go see what's going on down here now. Bethany, calm down, please. I mean you no harm. No, you you won't take my child. Not again. I won't take let it the first you. time. Don't blame me. I uh, just want to talk. It's okay. We can talk about this. I know the mirror is important to you. It's my son. My my son. His soul, his very being trapped in the mirror. Cold, hungry, scared for decades. It's... Uh, okay, it's so hard to understand. His body is dead, but his soul is frozen in glass, unable to move on or return without help. Francis thought this was merciful, oh, the wretch. Yeah, he seems like a bad dude. What do you mean to do then? I can call Hammond back into his own body. Don't judge me. This, this may seem unnatural, but, but, but we will be together. Everything is ready. I'm sure it will work. I only need to break the mirror to release him. I can't go back empty-handed. And I won't leave without my son. You can keep it. I don't okay. want it. Well, I guess you've got the right to try. Go ahead. I'll have to find some way to sweet-talk Robert. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's scary. Hey, you should. Life can be cruel. Cool. Oh, thank you so Life much, newcomer. Cool. You made the right choice. Life can be cruel. Cool. Let this kid out of the the thing. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so you can let him free. I know this game's kind of glitchy. I don't like that. I don't like the hearing the sound of the the kid trapped inside of the coffin. But also, they must have done some great preservation work for that kid to say intact after he died I don't even have all the fucking things here yet okay I go back in there now you still here You made the right choice. Oh, okay. Got the piece of evidence I needed, which is the broken mirror. This is fine. Good times. Good times. Up. Oh. Find our way to Mr. Throgmorton down there. South. And just book it on over to the manor. You know how it is. Within our lives. Within our dreams. Finding our one way. Excuse me. As a as a living human being, I will not run through puddles. But as a man in a video game, I can run through all the fucking puddles I want. I gotta worry about my shoes. I gotta worry about my coat. I gotta worry about nothing. I went through every fucking puddle in the world. It'd be great. So excited. That's right. It is. Try to get a lot of XP for this. 
Mirror's broken. I was too late. The mirror. I found it broken. What? No. How? How could this happen? Oh, my brother, my poor brother. I expected better from you, Mr. Reed. By gay, I did. Well, Drock, just go. Leave me to my ghosts. You're welcome. Did I get a lot of XP for that? Kind of furious. Let's look at my skills, though. I can finally give an extra bullet load, getting a chance to deal double damage with the pistol. I don't necessarily need that. Don't need this either. Um, let's have the. Let's take this just so we get the uh, bomb stuff later. And that should be it for now. I might want to go and set put Grow Crow to something. I will do this field research stuff later. Uh, Thargmore's expedition is attacked with deaths by Elkmont. Uh, okay, we're going to the uh, police station then. So. We'll teleport there and then save. Because I we're going to need every clue I have for myself when I start the game again next time. Oh, stop. Late. Shit, I didn't click this button, did I? There we go. Hmm. I want to thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. I want to throw a special shout out on over to the Pants Man EX. I definitely go drop some follow. Lovely people. Love to see friends of Hobbs. His friends of Tiny Blue. If I could be so bold, I suggest myself. Look at my big boobies. Beware, he's cursed. That man, could that man see the clip? That man see the clip? How do you know? How do you know? That was a lot of than you. That was intense. Um, but yeah, thanks y'all for being here. I had to hit the save button. I got scared when I was going to save earlier because of the clip, but it happens. Uh, happy, happy August. Hope you have a great August. We're halfway through this nightmare year. We've been halfway through this nightmare year since the start of July, but you know, we're even more than halfway through this nightmare year. So, that's something. October's coming up. Only two more months. Halloween time, scare time. Gonna be good. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I will actually be playing instead of Dragon Age Origins. I'm taking a break. I'm gonna play some Resident Evil 4. Gonna finally start that up. I thought I waited long enough after they announced the Resident Evil 4 remake. It's time to continue my Resident Evil journey. It's been a time. We're going. We're trucking. Uh, then Tuesday again, the more Resident Evil 4. Uh, I assume I'll have beaten the game at that point. You know, it's been two streams, eight hours, right? That's enough to beat Resident Evil 4. You know. The classic, everyone's waiting for it. We'll be back with the forest on Friday, though. Finally, after two weeks, the crew will be back. We'll be going to Fuckboy Island. We'll be fighting everybody. It's going to be a great time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to look for something to raid. I'm going to hit the save button again. Yeah, that's who I am. Uh, bow. Bow, 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 Hit this. Mute that tab. Let's see who's on the internet right now. Got a number of lovely people here. Um, hmm. Where do we want to go, though? Eh. Uh, I love Disco Elysium. So we're going to go raid clowns. Clowns playing for Disco Elysium for the first time. Um, but thanks y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be able to play games and talk to y'all. Um... Sunken City. It's it's an interesting game to me still. Curious to see where it goes. I might just mainline the story stuff. Because while the um side stuff wasn't like side stuff was interesting at the start. But there's definitely like a middle portion where it was just got really fucking boring for a bit. And I was like, this is kinda like monotonous and not super interesting, which means I'm kinda curious where like what's the good side content. If I knew what the good side content is, I would go do that. But I think I'm gonna mainline the story after this point. 
I should go click in the cloud stream before I hit that raid button. Uh, yeah, once again, thanks all for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the go button. Bye bye.